What's going on, everybody? Got to make sure I'm in the mouse shit before this shit goes crazy. Word. Let us know if we have audio problems. Yeah, visual please let us problems. know. Let me know, please, if there's any. Oh, check, the, check it on your phone Mental now. problems. Check it on your phones now. Yo, I look pale like Cash with a ghost in this shit. Oh, that's a nice angle. It is? Yeah. Uh, how's it the gets audio? All, it gets all of us in there. How's the audio? Uh, hold on. Is it clear, clear, Let's clear? See. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's going on, everybody? Once again, as you can see, we have a full house in here on a nice Sunday afternoon. And Ali's on. Everywhere you, would you, the, would you get closer to the mic like you've never been on the show before? Everywhere is on. Ali's on. There we go. A hand hold on to. Guys, we are here, and as you've seen the title, we are discussing the upcoming WWE, uh, WWE <laughs> draft. WWE. Sorry. Just uh, mm-hmm. listen. I, I saw it. I wish it was. Which company? <laughs> wish it was. With, with the, the WWE. Blah. So, guys, um, make sure you share, share, like. Make sure you let everybody know what's going on for this week's episode as well as uh, just the topic at hand. This week, we'll be discussing the possibilities of who's going where, what they should do. Are you having problems over there? No, it's just the headphones. It's no. fine, though. What they should do. Um, also, the pros, the cons, what is the, probably the best look for the draft. And um, who's going to benefit out of all this? The fans! Could anyone call in? Right. Um, not not open? yet. Marco Mook! Mook! I'll let you guys know in a sec when to call in. Uh, like I said, share, share, like. Hold on, I went dead. Don't worry about it. It'll be right. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Uh, I was going to do the rounds. First of all, as always, I am the king of talk style, Mr. Ear to the Mat, and as well as the cheap thrill, J the Red Santee, of course, Alongside me is the man who hasn't been here in quite some time. Whole Milk Ms. Ike is in the building from the General Mission Wrestling Production. Production, right? I was gonna say podcast, but, but you guys are now we just don't more have of that a... shit anymore. Oh come on! It's it, not was sh- it, was it was not was shit. shit. It was not shit. Oh stop! It was fun. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It was shit. All right. Fine. You said no. The... You notice I didn't. You didn't chime <laughs> in. <laughs> Sponsored by the just General like... Mission Dating App. Yes. Throwback, Mike. Remember Jesus, I really, want, I really want to run that ad again. That shit was awesome. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> so, um, I miss Dr. Deadass. Dr. Dr. Deadass. Oh, we got to bring Dr. Oh, Deadass out. Dr. Deadass. And it, for, for the fall season, for the fall TV season. Yeah, yeah, bring we have Dr. to bring Dr. it back Deadass out. Yeah. Back. Also, um, of course, as always, you can introduce yourselves. because yeah. I am the bearded wonder, John Rondo. And I am the mook of all mooks. The mook! Matt. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. I have to, I have to make sure. I was like, why the fuck are you coming in? Matt fan Matt is officially over for the season because Mets are over. That's all right. You guys. So now a, I'm just mad. You had a, we had a decent season. Pete okay. Alonso had a nice decent he season. He broke the records. Though. Yes, he did. Why do you sound all wonky? Good. Blow it up. Go. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Hello, hello. Yeah, you're good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. Yeah, this thing's loose. That's why. Do you cut that out and uh, post? No, we leave it in. <laughs> we have to. We, we leave, have it to leave it in. in. Yeah, <laughs> we leave it in. I am. We keep it in post. Olski. So, guys, once again, check us out on all social media outlets. Check us out on the like group page as well as on all the Instagrams, the Twitters, the YouTubes, whatever the fuck we're on. Make sure you check us out there and all the podcasting outlets as well. Make sure you get us on Spotify, iHeart, uh, Google Play Music, iTunes, where the fuck podcasting everywhere. is at. We're there. We're everywhere. So, guys in the building, so you see this is a big discussion, ladies and germs. This is a big, big discussion. Finally, the draft. Uh, the draft. Homo, actually. Uh, I knew you were going to start with me. Of course, I had to because I have to go at you first. <laughs> you weren't. You're not a. You weren't a big fan, a big proponent of. Not at first. Of the the draft, and not only have the separate brands, the split brands. The initial, because. Why? Well, me and Matt always argued about this. Yep. I, 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 I don't even remember what I was arguing about. This was the Superstar Shake-Up? You shake thought up? that it was better? Not the Superstar Shake-Up. This is a, just a brand new oh, idea. Mike, the idea oh. of it. Mike, you were a fan of less uh, less championships and and no brand split. Yes. You want Raw and SmackDown to have the same wrestlers? Not all the same wrestlers. <laughs> I'm just saying at least... Could, I don't know. See, this That's is what, what you argued with me. This is where you me. bring up everything I used to say. That's what you used to say? Yes. Why? What was your argument back then? Because... Because of you. Just for the sake of argument? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, come like, on. I just wanted to argue. I was devil's advocate. On. Well, let's start with one thing at a time. Less championships because if you think about it, in my opinion, all titles really didn't mean a damn. Okay. So the more championships it means. So the importance of titles wasn't meant as much as it is probably now. 
What so the fuck am I saying? The women's tag titles are not even on TV anymore. Th- that's true. So well, yeah. The 24 7 title gets more attention than them. So you're saying more championships mean each championship means less? Yes. Okay. Red, what do you think? I'm, I'm, I've always been the one that says, fuck it, give all the fucking, put, put more titles on there. I don't give a shit. I love you. Get, get a three, get a, a six man tag. I don't give a shit. I'm into all that. But the other thing is. Oh, six man tag? I can't. I, yeah, can't, no, I, no. I can't condone that no, one. No, I'm just, I'm just. I almost had a stroke. Yeah, I almost died. I can't condone that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I was, and I was today, just, I was with the current roster, no, no. Especially Maybe in the if way the that Wyatt's and the Shields were around. Especially yeah. in the way that they don't really like stables and stuff like that. There's yeah, yeah. they, they the, tend the to break OC them up. OC could win that shit if they had it. No, I, I'm I'm a Lucha House Party. And like, like no, like Rondo said, they're not real fans of stables, so that really doesn't. Say. No, but I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a guy that, that that likes the TV title. Uh, I've been I've been crying for it for years. Uh, I thought the TV title was going to be the thing they unveiled. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so too. I, I, I was really looking forward See, to in that. In the spirit of of talking uh, about the uh, conversation we had earlier about the live events and stuff. Why, they should have one that's like for the live events. The I WWE so. House Show Championship. Oh. You know, there's a portion well, of the house. Give, the fan, give them something so. to come to a live the event 24/7. for. The 24/7. The 24/7 times is supposed to be that. They're gonna have like a the Make a, Make a Wish kid win that 24-hour oh belt. I'm surprised they didn't do it yet. yet. <laughs> yeah, Wait, <laughs> my line. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Who is the kid that they put in the Hall of Fame like, uh, this year? Go, no, uh, the little kid. Oh, I thought no, last year, last year. Lizzo. No, <laughs> no, Lizzo. What? What? He said little kid. <laughs> I don't want to say skin color because I'm going to look racist. Why? Yeah, He's black. The, the, guy, black. The, the, the kid that said that uh, I have a better chance of getting arrested. The fact that you're like, I don't want to say anything because it's racist. No, just in a, that, no, that, kind of that just I, makes it racist. Yeah, because this America ruin, <laughs> Mer- ruins everything. Because America. Because America. You can I can't say, say African American. You can say that. No, as long as you say the little nigglet, then they never be different. <laughs> Then, then we'd have been like, hey, hey, hey. Hold we on we second, only wait, talk like that when the mics turn. are off. Yeah, well, no, but you know what I mean. <laughs> the mics are not off. Oh, oh, yeah, Izzy. I definitely know what you mean. Or Izzy. Fucking Izzy. Izzy. Oh, God. Well, the whoop whoop guy. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's going to be the next one. He's going to be the next one inducted into the special wing of the fucking <laughs> WWE when fucking Hall of Fame. you say special... The handicaps, whatever. Those guys. Well, I thought yeah. they were in the same wing as Donald. Trump. I, hey, at least I didn't say the cripples. What were whatever. Talk, what were we talking about? Not, is not, that not the same wing Donald Trump is in? Oh, I saw uh, what you did there. What, uh, what, 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 what we were there talking goes about half our fan that? base. <laughs> what we were here we go. Here we go. Non importance of stables. The public, <laughs> <laughs> all the Republicans left the chat. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. As so, you do the face no, turn. No, we talking about we, we did the uh, we talking about the oh, titles. Yeah, so I was also I was also a fan that they was discussing. Uh, I think they're still in discussions of bringing uh, the European title somewhat kind into the UK. Uh, I wouldn't as mind a that as long as it incorporates with the US title gimmick. Right. The thing I call the Euro right. the Europe content. Uh, Euro con- the Euro continental. Yeah, the that Euro was continental. something that I thought Russo was going to do when he had the US title. Mm-hmm. That would have been great. All those times. That would right. be great. They missed, they, it's like they we should have a turnbuckle tabloid belt. We should. We should have the Turnbuckle Tabloid belt. Go fund me. And I'm the only one that has it. I'll That's be the it. only one that wear it. No one can defeat me. I am the best. And, at the, and the way to the way to win it is oh, the out you. is the out as the out Would beat you? someone in a, in a debate. No, fuck that. We uh, we have to wrestle nude with Crisco all over our bodies. Yeah. And but uh, you know we, you don't got to tell me twice. <laughs> It's always pants all But we've been doing that for no championships. championships. That's for fun. Who needs belts? (laughs) That's an exhibition match. Uh, Who needs belts? So, guys. I have a cardboard belt, and I don't want to talk about it. No, we should talk about that one day. That'll be another (laughs) show. That's another discussion. I have one, too. Uh, Ben made me one. Oh, your Met belt. You need to bring that belt over there. That's cool. The Met championship. That was cool. You need to bring that belt. Shout out to Ben and Ray. Yeah. Big shout out to General Mission Production. Yeah, all you guys at General Mission, you guys are showing love. Big shout out to Ray. I hear that Ray is going to be part of a show yeah. this week. Uh, good, good look to him with that as well. Ray, Ray's been asking to get on the show too. We got to get him on as well. He never calls in. Yeah, yeah. He, he try. He looks like he goes, "Hey, bros," and then he leaves. <laughs> What's up? Oh, oh, excuse me. Yo. Like he just did now. Yo. Yeah, exactly. Whoop whoop. Sub Holmes. Whoop whoop. Good jump through pumpkins now. Okay, so the WWE is having their draft on was that the 11th and the 14th? Yeah, right. Okay. First on SmackDown, then on Raw. Right, and you were discussing why would they do it that way? Because. Uh, it's not the norm from what they've been usually doing. It always yeah, starts on Raw and then goes to SmackDown. But I ho- yeah, that is true. But and we don't know what the format is going to be. We don't know if there's going to be GMs or anything I like truly that. Think they're Everything's gonna, unknown. I think this Friday is my prediction. I th- stop licking me. Oh, AJ's, AJ's still licking the legs, bro. It's not, my, it's not my mother. It's not my mother doing <laughs> it. That would just be weird. So um, my prediction is Shane McMahon will be leaving this Friday. I'll uh-huh. call the ladder match. Okay. They will bring in Paul Heyman. He said, I'm here, putos. No, the match is on <laughs> SmackDown. <laughs> I thought they moved it to SmackDown? It's on the ABO. Yeah, it's on SmackDown. So. They originally announced it for sure. I think Paul Heyman and Eric Bischoff will be the people representing these shows. 
I think the reason why they're doing the draft on SmackDown first is because because now it's on Fox, they're going to treat it as the A you show. You think the producer role is going to be a legit producer on yes. TV? Yes, yeah, I, I think so. And, you know, to be honest with you, I think the whole GM thing, I missed the GM thing. So, technically, Triple H is the GM. Yeah. With William Regal. Uh, well, we're, William Regal is the GM, and Triple H is the Vince McMahon of NXT. He's the... I don't, I don't no, let's not even mention that. That shit just sounds awful the way but you But am I that. wrong? Yeah, it just sounds oh, horrible. Triple H is not the Vince McMahon of NXT? It's it's almost as though um, and Regal's the you just release cancer in the room and now we can't get away from it because we're all sitting and we can't. And, and the windows that's closed. Fucked up, that's man. Uh, it. Just released cancer. It's like a, a air an air form of fucking cancer. I thought you were talking about me. I'm a cancer. Oh no 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 no! You are a, you're, you're a venereal disease. I'm very sensitive. You're a venereal disease. I'm very sensitive. You're you're uh, you're gir- you're gerpes. You're oh, gonorrhea gerpes. and herpes at the same time. You're gerpes. 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 You're gerpes. It sounds like a terrible Willy Wonka uh, fucking <laughs> candy. <laughs> Right, we, like, like, uh, we like the gappies. Uh, that's, that's the next event. I want the gerpies and the gobstoppers. I, <laughs> I, I have some gerpies sucking on me. <laughs> Don't step on my joke, bitch. Yo, Any case, yo, so. yo, yo, everyone, hold, everyone stop at the door now. I'm over this shit. Everyone stop. Everyone get out. One, two. I need to talk to you, motherfucker. <laughs> you really going to do this now? I stepped over shit. We're going to do this now? <laughs> Thank you for having me. All right. <laughs> it's, it's been too long. No, but years. SmackDown's debut no, in the draft because. It's well, you can't. Be the well, you know, it's be, oh, not only that, you know, no. the pressure from Fox, correct? Fox no, definitely it's, not, that it's shit. not only that. It's not only that. It's, well, mainly, I don't think it's mainly. They're like, that. we want these stars on our show, if, and what's the way to do it? A draft. No, it's not. A, it's and also, not to get that. rid of the stupid wild card rule. You can't have the draft go on for four days. Yeah. Yes. So Raw is gonna be on Monday and SmackDown's on Friday. You got, can't start it on on a Monday. And do a big oh, gap. No, yeah, and you'll have a big gap. That's what's the big thing. Well, what if what if the draft also coincides with NXT? Uh, That'll be on Wednesday, so, so it skips well, so, a day. Well, Isn't so Hell in a Cell next weekend too? Next it's a Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. We have predictions. So that's in between. Week. No, that's in between. Before. Oh, no, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. this week it's fun. sorry. I got it. yeah. Next week, the following week. I'm I'm just I'm more of a fan of the of the fact that it's um it's back. It gives you something to talk to. This is why we're doing this fucking shit yeah. show right now. Uh, it's also fun to anticipate and think about shit this fucking shit show we have. Uh, I mean, come on, let's be honest here. It's like hey, six people who watch this shit. Oh, yeah. come on. Right, okay, fine. It's eight people who watch it. Ali, good looking out, bro. And uh, <laughs> we also get, you know, we get Ben, the ben, fucking ben, is, yeah, ben, ben, the mook. <laughs> the Brit- the British Mook. Hey, ben from England. I want. Can we get some some viewers and listeners from like Taiwan <laughs> or, or 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 the Philippines, especially the Philippines, especially if you're a lady, not a lady boy, a lady <laughs> about in her mid twenties cool with some from... supple skin and. Wow. Okay, this is the wrong show to do that. It sounds like a porn. I category. thought you were describing like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> with, with nice stream like thighs skin. and succulent skin and nice. Voluptuous breath. Saudi Arabia, God. Boston. Boston. Now I'm Boston. hungry. Saudi Arabia's give you the scoop on those big shows. I, I know, right? Oh. Thank you, the Saudis. So, <laughs> <laughs> best Saudi money number. Uh, round table. Oh God. Starting with Matt. Benefits of this draft. Okay, benefits of the draft. It is way better to have two separate shows with two different fucking rosters. Well, Raw, not three. Raw and SmackDown need to be different. Raw and SmackDown. Need to have different storylines, different championships. Want to know why? The wild card rule. What's the one word? The wild card rule? Sucks! Thank you. It sucked. It was the worst thing ever. I, it, you know it's bad when it came and went in three months, okay? Mm-hmm. Terrible idea. You're bringing the champions on Raw to SmackDown. Why? For what purpose? The benefit of this draft is to finally go back to the days finally. of 2004, 2005, where... The Survivor Series mattered. Uh, oh, yeah. Raw and Raw versus SmackDown ratings matter again. I, 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 well, last year it mattered. I care. King of the Ring. I care about what show is better again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna care about what show has the better product again because when they were fighting over that, SmackDown was fucking amazing. The Miz versus Dolph, fucking Dean versus fu- Dean versus AJ Styles. The old SmackDown was amazing because it was separate. You bring up a good point, though, about one thing. I see Rondo will touch upon it. The um the importance of what it could possibly be for Survivor Series. Right. It's probably the... It's the, coming up. The, the lackluster of the Mighty Four. Mm-hmm. Now it's like the Mighty Six because people want to count the Saudi Arabian bullshit yeah, and yeah. fucking uh, Money in the Bank, which yeah. I would put Money in the Bank in before anything. Yes. Is there going to be like a bigger implementation Implementation, excuse me, with um with Survivor Series? I think so. Absolutely. Um, Even in the, in the past, uh, I mean... It, they've done when they've done the draft. They've had the uh, the whole Raw versus SmackDown and brand supremacy or whatever. They even try to do it at uh, besides uh, 
besides Survivor Series, what was that? Battlegrounds or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Bragging Rights. Bra- oh, bra- bra- Bragging Rights. Bra- there, bra- there you go. That's bra- what it rights, was. Yeah. They the even tried to do I it remember. then. <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> the shit you retain. Uh-huh. But it's cool because then it's it creates a a a competition between the two. So I, I wouldn't be surprised now that we have social media and everything, Twitter. I wouldn't be surprised if... Twatter. Uh, Twatter. I wouldn't be surprised if in between brands on social media, people are going at people, right? Yeah. Well, no, they, no, would, no, well, and they the, were doing that originally. With Big E, yeah. and like, New Day, like those types of people, like the characters that you expect it to come from, did do it. No, but the main thing for me is like, they ca- everyone's caring about WWE versus AEW. WWE versus AEW. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Raw and SmackDown. They want the illusion that we care about Raw versus SmackDown, not Raw versus AEW. Right, right, yeah. right. That's that's what and b- let's, the premise should be. Uh, let's point this out. Before the brands were separate again, our survivors, our Survivor Series was dedicated. Our Survivor Series was mm-hmm. dedicated to Team Mick Foley versus Team CM Punk. Ben Ben made a great point, Fuck which that. I was just about to make too. <laughs> which I was about to say too. The, the hope that the um, the Survivor Series also includes NXT and NXT UK. Okay. No, that's what I'm hoping. That's something, I'm, that's something for a takeover that they can do, like War Games. Well, well, I I still I still think, but on a Survivor Series like that, and I, I and I and I say this half half heartedly because I know we were talking about it earlier how it's fucking it sucks to do fantasy booking, but I didn't mention before in a previous episode that a lot of shit that we've been saying has been coming to, has been coming to light. That is true. A lot of fucking wrestlers have been taking time off. You miss them when they come back. Yep. Um, they're gonna start um, um, separating the brand like we've been talking about. We're just talking and about John also coming the back. possibility of cutting the live shows. Maybe if that's true, there's a possibility. I remember even even uh, even earlier when when we spoke about um. People sure. going to like NXT UK, like just, right, you know, it's like just, uh, you, main so, stars you just like go just, out there. so Cesaro in there. You see Cassius Ono going to UK yep. now, uh, but well, now also um, Two or Five Lives going to NXT, right? So now you could add the Cruiserweight division on fucking um, NXT and UK. But the thing that I'm looking for with that, especially with how well, didn't they say that they were still going to do it after SmackDown, yeah, but it's still they're still going to be yeah, out. They, 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 yeah, <laughs> but they're still going to go. They're, they're still going to have matches at NXT too. You, you, real you, quick, you're gonna talk about the person that no, just said they don't want to see no, it. No, real quick, our oh. Facebook. I just realized our Facebook live after three minutes transfers to a little league f- female volleyball game. <laughs> <laughs> I am dead ass. I did not touch anything. It goes to a woman, female. No, mine is volleyball. still up. No, it's still fine. What, 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 yeah, what, are you still up. what the fuck are you watching, you perv? <laughs> Bro, I'm watching this and <laughs> Dude, it transfers I'm, over. I don't press I'm anything. looking at it right now and yeah, it, never, your co-host is. What a little fuck? <laughs> what did you do? Weird shit over there, man. I'm not touching it. No, stranger danger. Stranger, stranger, <laughs> danger! No, you want to see them go up and down the court? I see. I have to. I have <laughs> to say. I have to say that uh, the reason why I say it's fantasy booking because and which is needed because if you really want to put over your brands, you want to put over your brands. You got to put NXT on the forefront yeah. for a SmackDown and for Raw to show you know those fans who and remember this guys. I, I've said it for years. I said it like a, a year ago. Um, uh, uh, Louis Coyote never watched NXT, and I was like, "Bro, how long has this shit been around, and you did not watch it?" Mm-hmm. Oh, this takeover is great! I, I, wow, I didn't know it was like this. It's like, bro, this shit's been happening for years, man. Have you right. not watched Neville versus Neville versus? But fucking there is Bo- people Bo- out there that don't know that. Like, people don't know the NXT There's, UK. Why, why they think, don't know about Volta. They don't know about uh, 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 Mark Andrews. They don't know about that. That's well, why, well, I also have to praise uh, James for using the proper. Of course, the proper it's Volta. 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 Thank you very much. In German, you don't pronounce the W. It's a V. But um, Volta. Yeah, what was I gonna say? Oh, um, I actually know somebody like that uh, during the the premiere of NXT like last week. Uh, she was like, "Who are all these guys?" I'm like, "Have you never seen NXT?" You looked at him like cross eyed, like, "What?" Do you have a network <laughs> like, Ben, do you not watch? Ben has a good question for uh, for the table. Uh-huh. Uh, are they going to have Raw only pay per views and SmackDown only pay per views? That's a good question. Or I would are both say Raws are going to be involved in the pay per views. What do you think, Mike? I think after WrestleMania, they should start doing that. Because you're going to go, go back to that again. I thought you hated I, that because it I didn't thought you work. hated the same. It's, the sh- it's, it's the shittier show. It is the shittier show. Separate. Listen. Separate. Three on me is so stupid, so I'm retracting everything <laughs> I said. <laughs> I like that. No, but I think, but I think if you Mike. change everything now. Are you years, three years ago, now? Mike? Weapon? Are you in political office now? Is that what's yeah, exactly. going on? Three years ago, I Mike. I retract everything that I said three years ago. Oh, no, please. I, I've, heard, <laughs> I'm, I've heard him on po- other podcasts and other shit like that. He's still an ass when it comes to shit. <laughs> Who, Who me? Mike, he'll do shit when you know, the last When was the last time I ever did a podcast? No, last time we did a podcast, the guys are like, well, you know. You know this show is doing great with when they, with this certain type of angle they're doing. No, this Michael, sucks. They fucking suck. What are you talking about? <laughs> you, fucking fucking politi- sh- you fucking political bastard. You political. You guys are terrible. What are you? What if show this woman are you sucks, watching? She sucks. Nah, yeah. but when it comes to the pay per views, I think with the current well, pay per views, how would it benefit? Doing- 
Go ahead, Mike. With the current pay-per-views, until WrestleMania, it should stay the way it is unless they have a big idea they want to do. So, with the draft, we'll go into picks later, but... Yeah. Because we don't even know what's going to happen at Hell in a Cell. Because God only knows what's going to happen there, and whatever happens there is going to reflect on the draft. Whatever happens in Hell in a Cell and whoever stays, stays in Hell in a Cell. cell. Yeah. <laughs> and we also don't know who Fox really wants. Because they definitely put names. Do you really think... Right, that's a good question. Rondo, do you really think that Fox really has their hand in a cookie jar like that, that they really fucking want to I have what they, they want? I, yeah. Before you answer, I think they throw suggestions. Like, we would like to see him on our show. <laughs> That's how um, um the Popo big, big Papa Pump. He's probably, he's probably coming around. <laughs> no, it's fucking um that's Breez- how, Breezango. Uh, it's fucking, Give me a um, fucking Jordan, mic. Jordan Grace. <laughs> um It's performance art. I truly think Fox <laughs> Fox definitely is being like, yo, I would give you this much money. I, I don't want think you. I, I don't think you, they're doing I that. I want you. I think you guys just think that they're doing that. I don't think they're doing that. I don't think I do so think either. that they're making so suggestions. I do think that they're like, well, it'd be great if we can get this guy over here because if that's the case then you have usa who's had a hold on on wwe since the beginning of fucking time yeah. and you know especially with nah, they like, wouldn't do, they wouldn't do it because um vince and um dick embersall are like fucking buddies and especially they, like they, somebody they like buddies, roman so. reigns oh. though you know what i mean like you can't have them on both fucking shows so let me ask you this do you think any move they did the superstar shakeup might have been WWE decision or do you think it's Fox Bay like WWE we, decision? We would like Roman Reigns. Like, you don't think they said nope. like, Roman Reigns could be on SmackDown? Nope. There's you no know why. You know why? Because it's Vince McMahon. Mm. That's why. I'm gonna. Well, t- I'm there's gonna... no way Fox did not go up to Vince and say we want Roman. We don't. No, 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 we, no, we no, want no, Elias. No, we want no, Finn no, Bauer. No, out of anyone, they, they're not gonna say we want Roman. Why not? They're not because Roman's the poster boy. Boy, He's... the first one they're gonna want is Brock. What are you telling? What are you talking about? Right. Okay, yeah. number Fox, two. They yeah. want number the big two. burly men. They want the Brocks. They Fox want the, wants the Brock, Bobby Lashley, the Lashley. Drew McIntyre. That's what they want. That's okay. but, funny enough. I picked them for SmackDown. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I know. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with Rondo here because I don't really think they have that much involvement with it. Yeah. I think that since since uh, Bischoff is that go between, yeah. He knows how to to to, yeah, to, to deal true. with the network guys and all that. But I also have an idea that when Fox went and got the deal with WWE, they said, "Listen, that was about a year ago." We want it? yeah, they, we want a sports type of environment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, the only thing I would we would probably request is that you bring guys who bring that sports look element right. to it. Which is not a bad thing and especially Look, whatever you could say about, you know, the USA Network, mm-hmm. it's still a cable channel. Right. Fox is like, motherfuckers get, who, who get digital fucking signals could get Fox. It's like when they were on UPN. Right. Same it's, thing. And remember when What's SmackDown was on, I don't know, uh, you, guys, you guys were uh, were born, right? You guys were well, when, they were, when they were on no, they SmackDown? Weren't. When they were where? When, when they first started uh, on UPN. When they first started on like, UPN. You was like four or five years old or some shit like yeah, that. Back, yeah. I watched it. I was but about, I was about we remember when they was on fucking Network TV, this shit was awesome. Yeah. They, I mean, everything went through that pipeline. Everything went through there. And they didn't really have a split show, but they had a split show. Right. Yeah, until 99. Right. Yeah. And it was still a thing to where we gave you Triple H on both shows, but he wasn't overbearing on on this show. We gave you right. Austin. We, we gave, gave you Rock, Rock on both Taker. shows, but Rock was more of a SmackDown guy. Yeah. You know, Austin, Big Show, Taker. Austin. Like, they, they gave you that. So I think they want... But even that then, same feel that, for it. And I'm sorry to cut you off, but even even then... No, you're not. You don't give a fuck <laughs> if you cut me off. You don't there's going to be, a, a, be a lot of interrupting today. But what I'm saying is that... No, um, I think we're gentlemen here. What I'm trying to say is that... Uh, like? Even Speak even like yourself. you said, you had some guys that were more... Like Chris Benoit was more right. SmackDown. Who? 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 Oh, my God. The stream's about know. to end. Santa Maria, Santa Maria, Santa Maria, Santa Maria. Don't mention that motherfucker. Ay, Dios mío, Santa Maria. I only heard that if you say his name three times, he comes after you. You said it once. You mean Daniel Benoit. Yeah. His son that wants to be in AEW. Uh, I no, but I, I really think that that uh, Fox Fox has, and WWE came with the understanding of that. It's like USA is like, listen, we gonna do what the fuck we want anyway. The only thing that USA said, listen, you can't go over fucking eleven o'clock anymore. Right. You're cutting it to Modern Family, my At guys. Eleven oh five. Yeah, reruns. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the cutting to Modern Family. They used family. to give him a, a ten minute. Uh, right. They gave no, him the flex. Cutting it to the Chrisleys. Exactly. Oh, fuck the Chris. That was actually the big one, the Chris Lee's. Well, it's now they're getting tax evasion. So right. Yeah. Oh, they'll, they'll be back, though. That's going to be the better part of the season. I'm watching. Hell yeah. You watch Listen, that show. you can't interfere in Ms. and Mrs. Not like, for nothing. Did you ever, have you ever seen that show? Of course. It is a shit show. I watch it. <laughs> it is a complete shit show. I watch show. it because it's that bad. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's the such a shit show. I watch it. I'm so fucking lazy to change the channel. <laughs> exactly. But like, you end up getting sucked into it. You're like, am I really watching... Knowing the Chrisleys right now. Ten minutes I, can't, in, I'm like, I can't believe it. I went to a ranch and this horse was so dirty. It is I had to wipe it show. down. Yo, ten minutes uh-uh. in, I'm like, okay, I'm in. 
you know when a show, you know you know when a show is bad when you can't whack off to anybody on it. Not <laughs> even grandma. The grandmother's like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> she's iffy. Oh, she, she, she lied. You, oh my you God. could be hot. So Chris is gonna get drafted to SmackDown. Yeah, Chris Christie's gonna get. Uh, no, he's gonna get drafted. Uh, I dog, won't be surprised. The dogs to NXT. <laughs> like, now yeah. what? Uh, now what's the um? I'm sorry because I sound like I'm chipping. Uh, Chip, guys, chip. what uh? What's what's the um? What do you think is the 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 bad about this draft? Whole milk. The floor is yours. <laughs> the floor is yours. Bro, I've been advocating for a draft for months now because, honestly, the wild card rule sucks. Okay. With the draft, I want, I think, everything what Matt was saying. Consistent storylines that are brand exclusive, mm-hmm. titles that don't go on other shows. The only exception, I would say, is the 24-7 and the women's tag because you honestly can't make double titles again with those. Well, I think they're going to That do doesn't make any sense to me. With the women's tag titles, a Raw 24-7 title and a SmackDown 24-7? So, so you want SmackDown... No. SmackDown storylines to stay on SmackDown, like Sasha coming on, and be like, Dominic, I'm your mommy. Ah, okay. If she's on SmackDown, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, okay, then I allow it. A but, ladder match for papers. But, my favorite, my favorite SmackDown memory. That's for true. A ladder match I for, for Dominic's papers. Yeah, Vicky, where's Vicky? Yo, but Mike. You know, it's it's funny because you say that, and it sounds stupid now. He made it work, but so it was so fucking, fucking awesome the way he did it, man. And Eddie was. Total fucking SmackDown. Yep. Yeah. He he he's, made he's, you. He's somebody when you think of SmackDown, he's one of the first yeah, things. Yeah, definitely, you think definitely. Of. The Rock, JBL. Um, back JBL. To, to hit off Mike's um comment about the championships. Right. I think they're gonna do what they did back in like 04 where they made the cruiserweight championship specific to SmackDown. Uh huh. They're gonna make okay. cruiserweight specific they're gonna make the twenty four hour championship specific to like SmackDown or some shit. You think so? And make the women's tag exclusive to the role. If you're gonna really sell me that they're separate, you cannot you cannot switch That's titles. Not, you that can't, is true. You can't switch you know titles. What? Honestly, honestly I like that because the women's tag titles with the three hour slot, there's there's enough there's time to time. book a women's tag team match for the belts. And then the twenty four hour championship on SmackDown for two hours, you could work that. You can make that. And Archer's is the perfect person for it with Carmella. My man Frankie puts up he says Sally until they create someone that fans know, Where Brock, will, will, Brock, Brock will continue to be used yeah. on SmackDown. No, he's, he makes a no, point. No, he ain't point. lying. Yeah. But okay. also with the, the brand split. I think they're getting Roman, though. But continue. This is what I... This I think so, too, but... This, this, Raw? No, SmackDown. SmackDown. Roman. SmackDown. Here's my biggest... You don't want SmackDown. Here's one, <laughs> of my, here's one of my big points. Really? I mean, who fucking knows? Right there. <laughs> who the fuck knows? I'm going by the website. Tell me... <laughs> tell me. <laughs> If they have a blue icon, they're on SmackDown. If they have a red <laughs> icon, they're on Raw. If they have a yellow, they're on NXT UK, whatever as the fuck As annoying as that sounds, that it really sucks. If they're you purple, have to, you have to, yeah. I don't know what the fuck. 205. Ben, if, they're purple, that comment. if they have purple, they have a venereal disease. Wow. Ben said, I can't, <laughs> Poor ben goes, I can't whack off to this show. Well, unless I pounded Rondo from behind and pretend he was a woman. Hey! Ben has issues like us. That's why he fits in so well. <laughs> Tell me if you guys agree with this point, right? Mm-hmm. No. Thank you. Um, <laughs> no, what is it? When they separate brands, this is what I'm a big fan of. I want Raw and SmackDown to fucking hate each other. That's what I was saying. Yes. I'm On social the, media I want, everywhere. I, want the, I, want the comment- I also wanted to go off what you said earlier with, like, there's no, like, Raw or NXT, like, co- like no, competition. Yeah. The closest thing we have is the Worlds Collide on Network. That's it. That was the closest want, thing we had. Oh. Which will be coming, um, which, which will by be the way, it's going to be a pay-per-view. By yeah. the way, well, yeah, if they do NXT and Raw or SmackDown, like, how, whichever way you want, how do you want to phrase it, the only thing Survivor Series match you could do that obviously the fans would definitely want is Undisputed Era in the OC. Yeah, that would make fucking perfect Wyatt, sense. Or well, like, not the Wyatt saying anymore, but you know what I mean. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Like, say if Finn Balor does when he comes back and they, like, But we have enough, we have yeah. enough, we have enough time now on these bigger pay per views for them to kind of get everything done with all when they give a the pay-per-view, brands. When they give a B pay per view five yeah, hours, no, I, they have enough. Right. <laughs> That's one of my biggest fears. I know Red was talking about the cons. One of the cons for the past the pre- the past draft was quite simple. It's hard to do a two hour pay per view with a thin roster. There's no excuse now. And also there's no excuse and now. Also to add to that is that certain people are left off. Which yeah. also like Finn Bauer, Sasha Banks, That's, Becky Lynch. That was my argument like, with you, Mike. It was like if you don't do a brand split you're not seeing fucking Cesaro no more. Oh. I don't know what okay. Turnbuckle tabloid, who this? Ben from England. Yeah, he's Ben from England. Of course <laughs> it is. Of course. My guy, Ben the Brit, what's going on, sir? You've been hitting on me the whole time. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> it's a lucky I've been with so bigger old. women than Rondo, so that would be fine. Don't worry about that. Me, that. That mate, Rondo. Yeah. Oh. He's, he's 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 a delight. It's a big it's a big plate of, of really crumpets. Sh- you see that eye in his it's microphone? It's a big plate of fish and chips, else. sir. 
So, uh, Ben, what, uh, what, what, what's your what's your input on this? Um, my, I've just got one question. Like, you know, how you're saying you think, uh, you know, uh, Bischoff's going to be involved uh, with SmackDown and Heyman's going to be involved in Raw and stuff. Well, what happens when Brock goes to SmackDown? Oh. Does that mean Bischoff is going to uh, not Bischoff? That does that mean that Heyman? Is still going to be his advocate okay. because he's going to be the money. Listen to this. You ready to? You want? You want to divulge? He's a break breaking new new new. You want to? You want to? You want to share yours? Yeah, yeah. This, this is was what... this was this was Oski's um. This was his his idea, his premise. And when I heard it, usually I would tell him, "Man, shut the fuck up." This one, I was like, "Oh, it interesting." Makes, okay, here okay, me out, right? here you go. So, let's just say the draft happens, right? And the story for the draft is Paul Heyman is going to pick Brock first. Right. That's his first pick. I'm going to pick Brock first. All right? Everyone goes, nah, fuck that. Because once you know, Paul brings Brock to Raw, championship, championship, championship. They get the heel, heel boost. The draft happens, right? And Paul Heyman goes, with the first pick, I pick Brock. And Eric Bischoff cuts him off and goes, no, 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 no. I got the fucking first pick. Not you. I picked the first pick. We flipped the coin. I got the, I got the first pick. And my first pick is Brock Lesnar. And that separates the two. Eric, Paul Heyman cries. Paul, they throw a hissy fit. <laughs> Fuck! That breaks them two but, up. But they can't do it no more. I want to throw in one thing though. Wouldn't titles be exclusive to uh, brands like the WWE? That's gonna be that's that, and that's one that's one aspect that I had. Yeah, sorry. Say Brock does be Kofi this Friday by the draft time. That means he's SmackDown exclusive. How much you want to? How much you want to bet the Universal title goes to SmackDown to make it blue? I want that. I was just about I to say that, that shit too. I I've was been, been, ju- more merch. <laughs> more merch. Well, Rondo's like, fuck, I gotta fucking buy that belt now. <laughs> yeah, not, shit. Yeah, 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 now Bray White has to carry a blue belt around with him. Ben, um, yeah. Ben, yeah. before you know, before I let you go, because it's gonna be a real packed show. I'm I'm glad you called in anyway. We have um talk. what when you were when you were watching wrestling, what what what, what uh, WWE, WWF, what brand was your, your go to show to watch? I mean I mean like we were speaking about SmackDown yeah. when it came on, it was like, eh, eh, eh. but once we started getting into it, it became like, oh shit! Like, SmackDown was was open for everybody. What was your your go to show out there in, in England? Ben, <laughs> did you die? Ben, I Ben think, from think England. Think ben hung up. No, he's still there. Three. All right, that was great. Two. Thanks, Ben. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you for the question, though. It was, yeah, it was, it was, it was actually. Good, uh, because we're gonna he's like, oh, fuck me. Anyway. Oh, no. You know, Bro, oh, they got to do that with Brock, man. We're bringing, we're bringing a lot uh, of attention to SmackDown. And, uh, we, have to focus, we have to go to Raw eventually. And, and, but a lot of people forget that Raw also was not that bad during that time either. At the time of, like, Eddie Guerrero's and Batista's were coming up. You had Evolution. You had a lot of people on Raw that the were coming up. RVD, RVD Randy Jeff Orton. Hardy. Yeah. Wait, I was about to say Randy Orton. Jeff was, Hardy, was, was Jeff Hardy freaking, being a yeah. single star. Oh, wait, no, we're not going to talk about SmackDown where um, Brock Lesnar beat up a handicap and threw him down the stairs? I'll that was say this. awesome. I'll say, this, I'll say this about when they initially did the first Then he was never draft. seen again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll say Fuck. this about the initial draft is that it kind of felt like Raw was where the established stars were and SmackDown was like where the stars would develop. Yeah, I know, definitely. And, and when it came around draft time, the developed guys on SmackDown would move to Raw and then SmackDown would get new guys like the yeah. fucking Gemini, that's Simon Bean. Right, that's going to be the, like, difference. the difference. But I think this time around, it's going to be different. Because it's going to be equal. Because the established guys are going to go to SmackDown and then some guys that maybe haven't been used on TV on SmackDown would be moved over to Raw. Because of, I also think that's a good point because Vic Joseph is going to be the commentator. And he's young, new. Dio Madden, baby. Dio Madden, which I never heard. And Jerry Lawler's not. Is Dio Madden a good commentator, Mike? Have you heard him? He's, no. been, he's been on commentary for a month on two Is he good? He, he's okay. Is, is Define he, a good commentator. Is what he worth to be on Raw? Hang up. <laughs> Turnbuckle Talk Tabloid, who this? He's from England. What's up, what's up? Oh, oh, man, man. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Viva la raza ese Órale. Viva la MOOC. What's going on, Marco? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? We're here stuggering. Marco, when... This is why, man. When, Mar- when, 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 when SmackDown, SmackDown first was initiated, to be honest, the target audience was the Latino community because that's... UPN or um, those, uh, what other channel was it? Was it on uh, WB or whatever? What, Pix11? What oh, Pix11 or something no. like that, right? No. Smackdown was on Pix11. Was, Pix was it always, yeah, was it always on UPN? Oh, it moved to Sci-Fi or something like yeah. that. Yeah. No, Smackdown was on Pix11, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. No. For it, me, it was. Probably Glendale. <laughs> <laughs> For 
No, but it was no, oh, no, it was something called different. I know, I know what he's talking about. But it was, it was on UPN. It was on UPN, Man, and he's watching little girls play basketball. And it was, <laughs> and it was one of those things to where that it targeted the the the, the Latino <laughs> audience. We had the Eddie Guerrero's there. We had the Rey Mysterio's there. Rey Mysterio. Uh, did it did it have a, an effect in, in in Mexico as 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 it did over here in the states where you were able to get smacked down much easier? You right, Marco? <laughs> the Mex- the Mexico. <laughs> Marco. Hey, what's up? All right. Did 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 the question? Okay. Did 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 SmackDown? Uh, was it easy for you guys to catch it out there in Mexico? Well, uh, I'm not getting really good the audio, man, because I don't know if you, I don't know what's what's wrong with it. It sounds like a lot of noise. I okay. can barely uh, understand what you're saying right now. All right. Uh, do you like so, gay porn? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. It sounds like. I can hear you like clearly, but yeah, you know, guys, uh, I just want to say something. Uh, some few things. Raw, well, SmackDown, uh, Draft, and all that. I wish they put, I know he's injured right now. Drew McIntyre put him on, on SmackDown. And Tim and uh, Tim Ballard and uh, the team, uh, Bray Wyatt. I don't know what the uh, thing he has right now with Mr. Rogers. Right. Uh, great team, Mr. Rogers, right? Now I got you. Now, there you go. I, I, now I, I, really fix, I fix it what it is. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm the tech wizard. I'm Mr. Pro- I'm the producer over here. I'm the engineer. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> no, 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 so, so what, I was, what I was asking you, when, when, when SmackDown went and um, they were open up to the Latino community and the Spanish communities out there, especially in, they, they especially wanted that West Coast kind of, 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 yeah. of, of viewership. Was it easy for you guys to yeah. get it? it? Was it accessible for you guys in Mexico to see SmackDown easier? We got it here in like um, 2000, uh, first of 2000, and the first thing we saw was The Rock. That was different. That was like, what? This guy is like talking smack and all that. He was SmackDown. That guy owned that show. Right. So he put it on the map, right? But he, we got it here like in, uh, I don't know, 2003, 2004, something like that. Uh, really? Yeah, that's right. Because they, they, yeah, they, they, got it. yeah. You used to get here syndicated with UPN. I think was uh, that was that was the, uh, the the channel was was giving us a SmackDown. It was a cool show. It was different. It was, it was faster than the Raw, right? But it was a really good show. No, you're it right. is a good show, but yeah. I re- no, no, no. I remember because that's when they did actually the big push, and that's when. You know, Latino Heat, after he had that Royal Rumble, yeah. they put him on SmackDown. Um, they yeah. put Los, the Los Guerreros gimmick over. Yeah. Ray was there. Yeah. Um, they, it, 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 it was something to 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 bring in that West Coast Spanish side. We we Before I let you go, because I, we, have, we have a jam-packed show, Marco. Uh, we have a whole draft to do. Yeah, we had a draft to do here. Um, what are your thoughts about what's going to happen with Raw? Because Raw has been the flagship show for such a long time. What is going to be the the, 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 the happenings with Raw? It seems like where everybody wants to go is going to, you think it's going to be SmackDown. But so what happens to Raw? Well, I think that they should get, do something else. Because honestly, guys, I'm sick and tired of Brock Lesnar. Yeah, that's it. Well, get you know what? <laughs> you know what? It's the same move, same thing. Yeah, um... Paul Heyman also is, uh, well, he's the boy. He's like a ventriloquist talking to a big, I don't know what it is. And I think they're going to start doing shows with Essence now. But they're, they're doing a pretty good job right now with the fan and all that. But uh, the team, sorry. But uh, Ron, if you want to do that with the black show, well, you have to, you have to um, be at that level. Be at that level doing things that's not doing all the obvious things that lost is us. They need to go push it a little bit more the envelope. They need to put wrestlers there, guys who really want to do uh wrestling message. So I don't know, that's my opinion. All right, Marco, thanks for calling in once again, brother, as always and thanks for, for being a part of the show. Okay. Yo, okay. Yo. I need you address man. Now 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 that I'm sticking to you and I'm Sending me messages about the address. I have two shirts for you guys. For Listen, you and, and Jay. It better be shirts. It better not be the you know. We better not get like, like, like you know you know that, that thing that you know that you know 
you know, that, that thing, you know, the package, you know, that white powder stuff. It better be shirts. <laughs> you know, you Mexican you Mexican guys, you know, you, you start getting me involved I've in certain things. You start, you start looking. No, no, no. You know, watch Narcos, bro. No, I know how it gets down. Marco, I've seen this in Breaking Bad before. Marco, Narco kind of rhymes, yeah, bro. It, it is, I don't want to say that. You know, I, I get that on um, Periquito. You know what I'm saying? That coo 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 That candy, all right, bro? Well, once again, thanks for calling in, bro. Okay. Marco, I'll send you okay, man. Okay, man. Okay, man. Thanks. Booger sugar. Okay, man. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get that booger sugar, man. That shit. Uh, sugar yeah. booger, you mean? Yeah. Quote, unquote, the shirts. Yeah, that's what it is. Here's a good question real quick. Uh, ben, because he got cut off. He goes, <laughs> do you also think the champions will have to be picked first? Because what happens if, say, SmackDown picks Becky? And what happens if Raw picks SmackDown champs or vice versa? Here's my, uh, here's my opinion. This is what I think, this, this is what I think should happen. Fuck ahead, this. Man. Drop the belts. First. <laughs> Fuck this. Every, Start a tournament. Everyone should vacate their shit. That's what I was thinking, too. How did they do the draft in 02 with the champions? Did the no. champions stay no, on the No, the brand? champions still had the belt. Yeah. Did they stay on the right brand? Yeah. I think, like, I, the tag team champions were Billy and Chuck. But funny. And if one got picked, the other went with them. Yeah. I think that's what it But now it's different because it's now the, 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 the titles are. What was it? But at first, at first, it was only one set of champions. No, no, that's Correct. what I'm saying. But now, yeah. now that the ti- that the, the the titles are are specific to shows, mm-hmm. it's tough to do. I think the last time they did the draft, somebody did leave with a belt, but then lost it that night. Yeah, gender. And it was, I think so. It he was, was the of, U.S. champion. He lost it to Jeff, and then Jeff got drafted to SmackDown. SmackDown right. Hinder That's what my, they did. Hinder my gender. Gender my balls. Yeah, when's oh, the last time? Is he still injured? Yeah. 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 He's coming back soon, though. He's uh, going to NXT. Uh, he should. <laughs> That'd be a good one. He should. Uh, no, uh, I, would, I would guess if Becky were to get picked by SmackDown and whoever the Sm- who's SmackDown champion right now, Bailey, switch belts. They're not gonna um. Yeah. They're not gonna yeah. do an even swap. They, she's not. Oh, I know, but this, this, she's not gonna smack. She's not gonna drop the question. Smack down. Yeah. She's not gonna. I smack think down. it would vacate the titles. Because also, if you think about it right now, what's the current situation? Dolph Please, they're is, Dolph, is, Dolph is on SmackDown and he's holding a Raw tag belt. Oh, he's gonna, revival, get, he's gonna get drafted. He's gonna get drafted to Raw. Superstars. Dolph's staying on Raw. Yeah, he's gonna go to Raw. He's gonna go to Raw. And revival have SmackDown. Oh, please, let me tell you something. They've been sucking this. Becky Lynch, Seth Rollins, shit under the table so long. They've been sucking that dick for so long. They're not. Re- they're not really fucking ready to let that go yet. They're not gonna split them up. No. They're not even they want. They oh, want. here's the big <laughs> breakup that's gonna know. happen. Andrade the big breakup's gonna happen. Andrade is gonna roll yeah, and Charlotte stayed on SmackDown, SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Or, or vice versa. Well, I know why? Because they vice versa. Because Ric Flair got, got him pissed off the whole man shit. And you already know. <laughs> You already know Vince is trying to break him up. Fuck you, <laughs> Dad! And then she storms off. Vince does that. You Vince ruined my done relationship. Vince has been kidding a time. I don't. Uh, I don't think he deserves to go out with her. I will you got rid of Poppy. Remember? <laughs> Who did you? he do that to? Remember? I think it was Lana, right? Yeah, Lana I think. It, yeah, they broke yeah, up the yeah, Russo. Yeah. It's like what the fuck. You're but an ass. she did it. She did it to herself, though. She, she with the social media. She shit. basically ruined her career. No, yeah. Uh, if, when we were talking about relationships during the draft, Cass and Carmella got separated, and then when they got back yeah. together. When oh, I think it, I think when, it when benefited their their relationship. When, no, but when Cass got put back on SmackDown, they were already broken up at yeah. that point, and then Cass just went on a spiral downhill. <laughs> yeah, he went he went from um um yeah. the the big ass to the even bigger ass. I mean, I get, also with I, the draft too. Is that there's so many this, <laughs> with the I, draft too. There's so many fucking couples. That I get, you I get, get it. it. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, I get it. You know. Wait, wait, talk again. I get it. No, why do you sound like that? Though? I sound like I'm inside a vacuum. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, I get his mental breakdown. I mean, you know. I, to me, look, I, I, my my thing is that I enjoy the I enjoy the separation. It's easier to follow. Um, there's no there's no reason for these cross storylines and angles mm-hmm. and booking. It's just a weird. It's just a weird dynamic that doesn't make sense. Uh, Vince came out and he just basically said, "Oh, what are we gonna do? We, we, we're gonna have the wild card rule." Somebody said, "What? Wait, what the fuck? Hold on. Hey, who wrote that shit? It's Vince. Shut the fuck up. Oh, okay, Vince, that was cool. Hey, the yeah, wild card. Jay, Thank you, Vince. Jay, run with it. He wrote it, and then the same night he couldn't even fucking remember, remember the what, rules. Oh, the rule, yeah. It like, went from three to four, and then now it's to like whatever the fuck you want. He had a fucking brain fart. It was like whatever. Wait a minute. Three people from each show could transfer all over. AJ, uh, AJ was standing out there even with a confused look like, huh? That's where I go on the adverse of what you said earlier about Fox being uh, so up up on, on WWE. Uh-huh. I go on the other side, and I think that that's going to play a major part because they're going to come in and they'll be like, yo, hold on, son. Like, we said we wanted this, and right now you're not 
you're kind of going yeah. the other way. So we're going to have to like kind of have a seat and, and yeah. talk about this real quick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, kind of put it, put it, in, think, kinda uh, put it in check. Yep. They're not going to tell them what to do, but they're going to tell them, to, they're going to put them in check. You yeah, think, yeah, you yeah. Think, they, you they're think gonna, U- hold on, I'm sorry. Yeah. You think USA is going to be the same? You think no. USA is the same? No. No. He can do whatever the fuck he wants with the USA. I told you, he has, a, he has the a, highest rated program on USA. No, I'm you saying, but and that him and him and fucking Ebisol are like they fucking butt buddies. So they don't think, fucking matter. You think Suits is doing better than Raw? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not saying, but I'm saying, do you think somebody at like, USA is like, hey, you, you're going to put Brock, Mad Roman, Men. and Cena on SmackDown? What, what do we have? Like Seth? Yeah, well, well, how does this benefit? We were talking about it earlier. We were going to lose. We were alluding hours. to it. How does this benefit Raw? You have to fill three hours, and the rosters. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How does it benefit Raw? Because Raw has be a three-hour spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And how does Raw, it benefit? But now Raw? they're going to be forced. Their hand is going to be forced to use other people that we haven't seen in a while. Raw's getting more titles than SmackDown. I just cut down the bear chase. Raw's right. The but I like your idea of the women's tag titles. You did, okay, Raw's getting the universal, the tag team belts, the women's belt, the US, the US, and the fucking women's tag. That's five belts. For three okay. hours, that could work. Okay. okay. SmackDown's getting the 24-hour, the WWE, the Intercontinental, and the woman, and the tag. That's it can't five, be the 24-hour, man. The 24-hour is going to be on both shows, bro. It, it then is. What's they the can't do that. Then the what's the point of the It's going to be. Then that breaks the barriers of the brand split. It doesn't really because it's, it's 24 really, hours. It's that not really going was to my problem from the day one. It's not. Is that not, they don't know how to do it properly. Because if, if you do that, then... They're going to represent the 24 hours on both oh, shows, this, bro. Our truth is now drafted to Raw. But, but, and I'm going to tell you why, if they're smart. And this is what it is. And, and they've been teasing it for the past couple of weeks already. Mm-hmm. With the 24-hour belt, you can lose it anywhere. Correct. So And use the social media outlets that you have. You have the they YouTube, the Facebook. That. So that's what you should do. Listen, if R-Truth is in a fucking plane going to Saskatchewan and he bumps into fucking, let's say, EC3 who's on SmackDown. Which, by the way, EC3 is better than this. He's right. Gonna be on Raw. And right, well, whatever. Let's say, uh, let's say, our troop is on Raw, EC3 is on SmackDown. They're on a fucking charter plane to fucking Saskatchewan. EC3 wins the belt, and he takes it to SmackDown. That's you could good, bump into one, it. Yeah. You could bump into. Listen, we had a fucking Arby's, and all of a sudden, uh, uh, uh fucking um, uh, Bobby Roode sees him, and fucking pins him while he's eating his, his fucking um beluga sandwich. What the fuck is there? <laughs> his beluga sandwich. Eat, you know, that's how you. That's how you make. <laughs> what a terrible name of a sandwich. That's how glorious. You, but that's how you make that belt more relevant yeah, yes. and make it fun. You don't need to have it on the TV. You could use it for your social media, and that's yeah. what it should be for. Right, that's but, fine. But now, the woman's title thing, I'm on the fence for because um, you had brought up before about what would, what would be the, what's the point of this. This is like a while ago. You the point. And it, after a while, it grew on me. It's like, yeah, what is the point? Because you don't develop women teams. Yeah. You, you, you got fire and ice. Okay, they're cool. You I, got I the Kabuki it. Wars. The you got Kabuki Wars, but you, you fucked that icon- up. You have the Iconics. You have the, icon- the, yeah. the titles from Mania and only defended them twice. And, right. And, and they had no TV time. Right. Regardless of how I personally feel about them, if they're good or not, you have belts and you made them feel important the moment you debuted them. I would and do this. It went, it went away. I would do this with the women's tag titles. The only way I would like them if, if Sasha and Bailey got them back and one of them was still on the other show, like the, I would like do, the Jared show deal. I would do with them where it would be that um, it switches shows. And what happened? Number one contenders. Whatever happens to them. Go for the title at pay-per-views. Mm-hmm. That's, and what, then that's what the original if they, draft And if they win, they had the tag you leave it on that fucking show for a minute. Yeah. What, yeah. Ha- what happened to the women's tag team belts going to like NXT and fucking SmackDown? It's, they, was that supposed to do that? Yeah, they no, promoted it. No, Sasha and Bailey said that. The yeah, company yeah. didn't no, do no, that. No, no. The women's tag team belts said that they're going to be on Raw, SmackDown, or NXT. I, that's why I was hyped for Show it. me. Show you? Show me where the company said that. Yeah, I don't think they did. I'll Sasha go back, and I'll go back, I'll go back to that. 2017 and find it. Those belts were made this year. Like last year, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like last year, bro. Um, like two years ago? Yeah. Check the network. <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> it's okay. All right. No, so, you know what I mean. All right. So oh, we, we, we've gone through the, the schematics of what it's going to be, the benefits. Where are you getting the, drafted to? Um, I'm going to fucking um, Guam. I'm going to wrestle for the Guam Championship so, promotion. Cool, Real Mike, quick, you? Jason had a good point. He writes in, Raw will have the younger popping guys, which I That's think is true. That's what I was saying earlier. Th- oh. Which I think is true because of the fact that Vince is going to be so concentrated on SmackDown yes. trying to get over with Fox Correct. Right. that 
Well, Heyman's pretty much going to have Correct. the Control reins on everything. And, and that makes right. we all good again. And right. Ronda, remember what Heyman used to do in the past, focus on younger talent. Yeah. Yeah. That's his thing. Bray Wyatt, Aleister Black, if he goes to Raw, out Velveteen Dream. And I think Those it also, are perfect candidates and I think for it all, all And I think Raw. it also wor- uh, works for Bischoff because Bischoff knows how to work with veteran talent. Yeah. So it's easier for Correct. him to book. It's yeah. easier for him to do that. Yeah. The uh, guys that he knows. So at the end of the day, I'm excited for it. I really am. 100%. I've been, I've been dying yeah. for it for the longest. I've been wanting it to happen. Yeah. Um, I'm not. I'm not. You know, usually when things like this happen, I'm always skeptical and worryful. I'm really not for this one. Is that the inner wrestling fan in you? Yeah, that's the, the inner wrestling fan and the inner skeptic. The fucking the 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 because you because because I would say I'm sorry, keep yeah, yeah, yeah. you, but. In your head, you have this perfect idea, but with WWE, it's like you don't know. Oh, what they'll they'll, they'll do. find a fucking uh, drop a fucking uh, 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 a, a shitstorm yeah. of, of nonsense yeah. on it. It'll be a hurricane. They of, always of, mess it up of, somehow. Of corn laden shit yeah. on it. But right now we're in the dark. We don't know if there's gonna the be the only thing that's gonna draft. bother me is the presentation. Yeah. That's the only thing that bothers me when you come when 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 it starts Friday. When, Next Friday, what, by the way. Wait, no, so that, that Friday, yeah. are we looking at the podiums? Are yeah, we? I hope so. Who are, are we, we seeing? Are we going backstage? Are we are backstage? We... Are we at a? Um, are we at a? Are we at a desk with two uh, GMs or whoever going back and forth? Or do or, you think or, that they announced GMs this week? I think yes. next week. After I think. Oh, you think next week? I think the, after the pay per view. I don't okay. think they're having GMs. You don't think they're doing GMs? No. How do you think that is going to happen? It's going to be this phantom freaking Shane McMahon, authority, authority 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 that they that they oh, appointed. God. Or task force. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of. I think, I think the name I threw out for GM is Titus O'Neil. Meanwhile, it's literally nobody. No, but you know, what's the other you thing know? too is that I don't mind GMs. I miss them. I do miss GMs, but the problem is, is I hate the fucking heel GM. It's like, yeah, no. I, oh I, my god! Like honestly, it's been like, done to death. It's been done to death, and only that, like, not only that, but honestly, if you in real life, I mean, of course, you know, this thing is shut the fuck up. Any case. It's performance it, it, art. It's right. It's, it's, it's <laughs> fucking. It's it's a it's a it's a, a pugilist opera. So um, my whole thought is, even so, and when me wanted to escape reality, who wants to work for a dickhead boss? Like right. you, yeah. you want. I, I, I I'm old school. I like the Jack Tunnies. I see. I like when Jake. Cornette was a, a good uh, a yeah. good uh, um uh, representative in TNA. Mm-hmm. Like, I like that. It's well, fine. You don't have to be a dickhead. Remember the draft they did three years ago, and they were doing those Teddy backstage Long. interviews with certain, with certain wrestlers. I was about to say that. And they interviewed yeah. Cesaro. One of the questions he asked him, "What do you think? How do you think the relationship between Mick Foley and Stephanie?" He said, "What every fan has been saying for years. I don't care what the GM saying. It's all about what I want. Right. Like it should be more focused on the wrestlers because." The GMs are GMs. They shouldn't be the focal the point focal of the point, show. Right. But that's what I'm saying. Like, just be like, listen. Even like, they should Bronco be putting the superstars over. Not them. But they should be putting the superstars like, over. I'm telling you, in the '80s, yo, Jack Tunney. Nobody knew who the fuck this guy was. He only came out when it was important. Exactly. He'll pop up out of nowhere. There was a time when Macho Man, he kept announcing, you know, Jack Tunney doesn't never put me in these matches that I'm supposed to. Be. Yeah, but you know, Jack Tunney, I got. Some. And it's like, who the fuck is that? Who, who is this guy? Who is this Mr. Tunney? And then when he finally showed up, you go, my grandfather? Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> my pops? Wait, no. But that's the way it should be. Hold on, Jay. Well, even think before, about, think about com- like, think WWF about like this. always had a commissioner, and even before, they, the commissioner wouldn't come out that often. Right. It was just a rare yeah. thing. It was until Mick Foley. Yeah, even Mick Foley. He did show up on every show, but he only came out when it was important. Yep. Even William Regal on NXT. We don't see him a lot, but nope. he only comes out when it was important. Yep. The last time we saw him was even fucking like, on the premiere even at, um, on WWE Network, when he's like, yeah. Riddle and Dane, you're going to have a rematch again, and it's going to be yeah. when it gets a title. Like, it's, that's that's so, the important so, stuff. He doesn't come out being, oh, by the way, I'm here. Thank it's you. a simple thing. Yeah, it's such a yeah. simple thing that it doesn't need to be over He makes his decree, and then... Yeah, it doesn't have leaves. to be over-exaggerated. So can we, do, can we do a roundtable of who we think we're going to be have GMs on Ross right now? Does anyone really have I a pick? I don't think it's that important, though. Well, I, 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 I mean, if, if, if you guys, I were to pick. If you guys think so, if you want to throw like your, your quips, but I don't really think it's like Rondo said. I don't really think that yeah. it's going to happen. I think for but, SmackDown, uh, give it to Paige again because she wouldn't even have a chance. And then Raw, I'll give it to Titus because you know what? He's a good speaker. And you know what? If you give him in that GM role and with his um, comedy skits, he, <laughs> he can, speaks he can well work. for a black guy. You was about to say? <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to go there? Yeah. He's a good ambassador for the company, you <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> Fucked up, Mike. Same. Remember, he works for General Mission. He's not, the racist is not over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, real quick, SmackDown. Give it to Teddy Long again. 
I miss Teddy Long. He was you always. Think a he good really f- wants to come back for that? He, for the money? Fuck yeah! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's <laughs> true. He's like, fuck what you I heard. Pitch, fuck what I you picture heard. on, on Let Friday. Let me holler at your player. <laughs> we're gonna see an oversized suit. Yeah. Like, Let me holler at your player. Yo, and that's not a gimmick either. That motherfucker yeah, wears that shit for real. With the Undertaker. suits for real. Sir, the Undertaker's not here anymore. The Undertaker. You're going one on one against the Undertaker. Six what? man tag, a oh, tag man. match. We're gonna have a six man tag. All I'm saying is those little things are important to me. That's it. Um, it's, the, it's the little things that we appreciate as wrestling fans. Absolutely. <laughs> no, I do. Uh, some people don't care. Like, Red doesn't care about the pyro on the stage as I care. Fuck ah. you, Ray. So no, I said Red. It's me. Yeah. Right. No, <laughs> Ray said, said we, we have now disowned Homo. Uh, <laughs> I fucking <laughs> they casted you, you out. Bitch. Mark Henry's not bad for SmackDown GM. I heard he's doing a lot of work backstage he's too. A, he's a it's good for him though. Mark he, he's a same comic now. Imagine. Yeah, but I heard he's doing a lot of work. Mark man. Henry. He's, a, he's like a, he's, he's an a, he's an agent for the guys back there. He's doing really he's well. He's a good head though. Yeah, he's, he's a good, good head to he have. He smacked Leo Rush straight. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he definitely, he needed that shit. So he also too. said the Big Show for Raw. So Big Show and Mark Henry are your GMs. That would actually be good if like you're showing that hey, like we actually mean business or some shit. That, Try to put some positive on this. And that's like, I'm like I'm 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 trying to picture that shit and I'm like Big Show in a suit. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> or is that a reach? Get over here, Becky. That's a reach. Becky, Sasha, <laughs> stop your shit. What do we yeah. say? AIDS. <laughs> Cance- no, I thought it was cancer poop. on. I a, honestly don't cancer think on that. a rope. I honestly, I, I honestly, yeah, I don't think there's going to be any GMs. I, I don't think we're going so to. This, this is what I'm talking about, having that mentality and then just getting let down. Okay, but I hate the whole thing. the whole thing where someone, they randomly make a match. They have a fucking brawl. Oh, we have a referee in the ring. It's a match. Who made I, it? I the, the, the referee was standing right the, there and he the said, fact, ring. The, before you do all that, I love the fact that I gave this fucker an arm and I still can't get him because he's always this far away from the fucking mic. <laughs> it's there for a reason. Come quiet. There you go. Shit. He, now we can't see him in the camera. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, to, and, to, and to elaborate on what you said, it's easy to have a absent authoritative figure right, when right, you're doing right. a show like this. They had Look a computer. You, big words. They had a computer <laughs> absent for how long? Yeah, a computer that was evil. The shit had a fuck. They didn't have an antivirus. For how long? That shit. <laughs> Bro, he made John Cena unveil his password to his email. Uh, exactly. Come on. <laughs> Come really. on. Hold, hold on, Matt. If like there was one episode of Raw Smack to pick whatever one you want, and there was no GM presence. You wouldn't like you wouldn't think second second about it. You'd be like, oh, there was no GM. Okay, and then right. show's fine. Like, I, I mean, every now and again, I want him one, but like, <laughs> I can't do the fucking thing where it's random random matches. Oh, there's a ref. Who made this official? I don't know. I can't tell but you because there's no but, one but there. Doesn't also seem random if like say stop asking questions. <laughs> exactly. Because then you're gonna be up. disappointed. Shut the fuck up. This is the difference between our generation and your guys' generation yeah. is that when we ask questions, our mothers would beat us. Exactly. <laughs> Then I say, don't, don't yeah. ask. No, That's if, why I don't ask anybody anything. And if yeah, we I, ask questions, be like, oh, it's okay. I it's just, okay. I miss. Shit, I heard, I heard Olski the other day argue with his mother over the phone. I was like, yikes. I got that oh, cringe fact. I was like, yeah. yeah. My mother would have chin checked me quick, boy. Yeah. You're crazy. His, with I, the chancleta, boy. I, I know his mom. Followed she by don't Nobo. fucking mess around. <laughs> <But he's, laughs> no, she don't. Neither does my mom, and he knows. Yeah, they don't play games, no. So, white, guys. White fam- white mothers they're the women's are tag champions. You guys are, you guys are pseudo Italian, so, I mean, come on, let's be real. There's no way you're Italian. What the fuck? Yeah, pseudo Italian. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're we're going to transition to the creme de la creme of what this uh, this segment is oh, really shit. about. I thought you were going to say whatever a, you see a on woman. the screen right now. This I is the, you were gonna say a woman. this is basically what we're doing. We're going to have our own uh, we're on, our own draft. Shut up. Uh, so far, what we <laughs> see here. Speaking of drafts, if you if you on the live stream right now, you see it on the screen. Yeah, you see it on the screen. Uh, have you wait? You guys decided Rondo's gonna be raw because Rondo always goes raw. Rondo, right. Rondo is raw. Rondo always goes raw. Rondo beats red. And Olsi Olski is Olsi 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 is definitely SmackDown because yes. he smacks down that ass. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Have you guys decided who's gonna go first? Hey, hey, hey. I was gonna say flip a pin. Uh, okay, all right, and flip a pin. All right, what, what, what side do you want to be on? No, I don't have a coin. All right, all right. I'll go tails. Wait. All right. So yeah, I'll go tails. I don't go have tails. a coin. <laughs> all right. All right. This is heads. This is tails. All right. That right. made no sense um, to me. Wait, wait, this wait, is yeah, heads. Facts. Yeah, right here. This is He's tails. Like, like, sideways. It's like here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> I, was, I was more with the camera, fucking uh, douchebags. Yeah, well, oh, my fuck He's them. Right. No, that's hard cam. Yeah, yeah, He's that's right. the hard cam. Right. I'm at the hard cam. This is heads. This is SmackDown. All right. So ready? Tails. SmackDown goes first. Yeah, let's I get said it. heads. Nobody's surprised. 
Wait. <laughs> I said no tails. Dude. No I one. said tails. I was the one that said tails. We didn't pick. Nobody picked? What okay. are you talking about? I said tails. Ew. Okay. Rock, Rock, paper, scissors. Tails, I have Rock paper, scissors. All right. So let's go again. Okay. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'll, 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 all right. All right. What do you have? You want the red side? No, I'll do tails. Oh, you want the butt? Okay. Yeah. Ready? Right, ready? Oh, Always. You like the butt. Ready? Tails. I just want this thing to stand right. up. What, what I like to stand up. Tails. You know why I knew I said tails the first time? Why? Because I knew that the bottom is heavier than the top. Oh. oh. It's always going to fall on that side. That's bullshit. It's called. No. You see? It's called physics. Wait, people. hold on. Let's use this. It's, it's <laughs> so called. Oh, no, what the no, fuck? no, look. It How many times? It was one at a time. It doesn't matter. It still doesn't. Come on. Shut Wait. up. Physics, bro. Hold on. Can you guys just... roll a dice? Oh, shit. Oh, okay, you want to roll a dice? A larger number wins. Okay, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> one, of you guys, one of you guys call odds. One of you guys call even. Who's odd? I'll be odd. You be odd? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Because Matt's always odd. Odd. Odd, odd wins. All right. All right. So SmackDown goes picks first. I mean, first. they are picking first. So how many? How many? <laughs> so people know that it wasn't bullshit. So how many? Okay, this was gonna happen. Uh, how many? How many guys I told you guys to pick? Seven. 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 Okay. I remember. Uh, I remember. Do you have? You have? You guys have so supposedly the pseudo fucking um uh, uh uh rosters that they have at the Jay, moment. Let's see if Matt copied my homework. Oh, let's see. Well, copy and paste. Well, my thing is, if he want to pick someone on my list, I gotta change. So I'm like doing like um, an audible yeah, right now. Yeah, that's why I kind I kind of like wrote some stuff down, but uh, then I'm yeah. like, it's not basically going anyway. basically yeah. going to fantasy draft mode. Okay. Yep. So uh, also, and then, and then me and you are picking. Right, and and after that, uh, the bonus will be, uh, Homework and I will be doing the three, NXT and uh, Raw SmackDown stars that should get the call up. Yes. Or the quote unquote. Excuse me, call down because I don't think it's a call down to go to it's NXT. It's a promotion. Question. It's I a think lateral it, move. It's a lateral yeah. move, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a couple of questions. Can we also throw in uh, predictions for Ron Smackdown as well if we wanted, if we thought of it? Uh, what do you mean? Like if after they do their picks. Would you say if it's realistic critique? or not? For the real draw. Like, like thumbs up, thumbs down. Type. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. definitely. Quick question. Mm-hmm. Could it be anyone? Tag teams included, women? Tag teams Yeah, you didn't give us any tag, rules. T- tag teams is included in one. So Unless you, you want to split tag them tag up. Tag, tag, team, tag team's included in one. You're not breaking up tag teams. We're not going to allow that. We're not, not going to do the double. All group, champions though. stay on the show. So we, we're, we're not picking champions. No, all champions that's stay good, on this That's show. a good rule, though. They should do that, right? right? All champions stay on it. As for right now, what we have right now, that who's champion, because whatever the fuck happens in Hell in a Cell, that's different. Or after Friday. Or after Friday. Um, all champions stay on the show. Okay, understood. Um... So Although, if you want to break up New Day, that's your business. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so, you say whole that's milk? A, uh, no, New Day. <laughs> if you want to break up New Day, that's a long time coming, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. Xavier's going to NXT. Exactly, that's I a long time coming. Like Question, him. is it sexist if I don't choose a woman? Yes. Just pick at least two. No, it just shows that you're queer. Do I have to show a woman? I you mean one? show. No, you don't have to. Here's a woman. That's your, that's your, right? I picked her. She has tits. Show a woman. <laughs> All right, so. She has a vagine. <laughs> All so, right, so I have the first pick? Uh, Yes. Uh, like I said, champions stay on the show. You must take tag teams. Okay. And no NXTs. I oh, want no the, call-ups. I also right. want the That's full you. introduction, too. Yes. yes. As my first pick, right. I choose the MOOC. All right, let me know where I'm running. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Because I actually want to make it. Um, you should make it an announce. Okay, so the, so the people who cannot be chosen are Dolph Ziggler. All <laughs> champions stay on selected shows. They oh. all stay. By the time of this recording, who by the, the, the current recording. champions are. All right. right. All right. Kofi all right. Kingston, Here, use Seth Rollins, Rollins use Becky phone. Lynch, yeah. Bailey, Robert Roode, Dolph Ziggler, The Revival, Carmella. Okay, so are we ready? Okay. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. So Nick, And Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Styles are exempt from this draft. There you go. Very good. like that. That's a big That's a big white people word, exempt. I like that. That's a, that's You're exempt people. from class. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> my outer white person's coming out. <laughs> that's, just like some, okay, well. that's just like some shit that I hear on my taxes. You're exactly. Exempt. You're exempt. exempt. Oh, oh, you've bro. been served. Uh, uh, Mr. Rondo, check your messages. Okay, ready? <laughs> yeah, okay, ready. so Oski, you, you're up to the podium. This is going to suck. This is gonna be terrible. This thing on. <laughs> Remember the last time we did this? We had like a big thing. This is what no. You no, and Rondo made entertaining. We were, but we were on a budget. Yeah, we, we were on a budget back then. We had stickers and now shit. we now we buy white clothes. Nah, you crazy? No, we're, we're on a budget now. Back what are you then talking we, about? We were good. We no. had the stickers and the board. No, and everything. fuck that. Now, now we're we're we're, we're advanced. Twenty first century. We're on, we're on Libra. This is Microsoft oh, Word. Man. Yeah, we're on <laughs> Microsoft <laughs> Word. I didn't have to write up stickers or anything, bro. All right, so um, Oski for the first pick. The first pick on SmackDown. All right, so the first pick of SmackDown Friday first Night First pick Smackdown. overall, remember. First pick overall. Overall. Pressure. Who's the man? Will be... <laughs> the...
The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Whoa, wait a minute. That's actually interesting. Now, we, we should talk about that for a sec. I will. If The Fiend comes out wearing a SmackDown shirt and a SmackDown hat, it's Rickwood. <laughs> <laughs> with the whole get up, too, with the lantern. And he's, he's like, and he does the whole thing like, No, Bray's like this. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Huskus, I'm going to SmackDown. What's SmackDown? So, <laughs> I picked Bray Wyatt for the simple fact, what draws most viewers right now? What will make people tune in every week, guaranteed, that's a good, that's a good point. guaranteed viewers every week? And what's the one reason we're watching Raw lately? The Fiend. So, I gotta go with, the, I gotta go with Bray Wyatt, man. He will give me the most viewers on my show. He will give me the fucking most, most creativity. He'll give me a pop with the crowd, and the merchandise sales will be through the roof. Man, so we're doing a fantasy draft right now. Yeah. Who we think is going to be on what show? This is fantasy. Yes, it's fantasy. I just awesome. want to give my thoughts on you. Awesome. I, I give it a thumbs up because obviously, if you're picking the draft, that should be one of the first people you pick. Right. It's down because I I think you should say on Raw, but solid pick. I am going to give it my a, show. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to give it a. Mm, I'll give it. Okay. The, the reason it's because why, he hates me. That's why. No, no, no. Not, no the reason why is I think, I think it's the same reason as I. I think that Bray and the Fiend should be a, a character that's on both shows. Yeah. But I think he's one that should. I was gonna. Okay. Uh, we'll but, but, about, but, yeah, but right, but right, but right. Yeah. You can't give me this based off a rule that's not a thing. No, no. I know. I know. So give I me get, a thumbs Matt, up. Remember, I just, no, not true. No. If anything, I would give you a thumb. I would give you a thumbs down to say that he should stay on Raw. Yeah. Okay, but here. I gave him a thumbs up because it's a solid pick. It's a solid pick. Okay, look. Hear me out. Why are you getting mad? What the no, fuck no, no, do you no. care we about? We didn't even get to run those first. Why do you, no, no, no. Why do you care no. what I feel? No, I, no, I want to I want to understand the, the rules. Start the show. No. Daddy issues, bro. No, I want to understand <laughs> what happened here. Because you guys are saying that he'd be better on Raw. But what did I say first? I said it's a <laughs> solid pick. No. no. What? Your beer. No, my beer's over here. Give it to me, man. You ain't doing shit with it. It's empty. Oh, you did you? <laughs> You're ridiculous. I was just asking. Um, this fucking is my, alcoholic. Wait, <laughs> okay, but this is my, this is my question. The, the remember, fan, the remember listeners I know. gave it a thumbs up, know. but I don't agree. No. I think he should stay on Raw. Right, but here's my here's my thing here. You're so saying, are you you're fucking? Are you kidding me? You're really doing this? Yes, right now? I am. It's oh, supposed to be thirty minutes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Show content. I, yo, we really gotta. Okay, okay, okay. All right, whatever. Whatever. No, no, whatever, no, whatever, no, whatever. Say it. Say it. Why? You're saying that he should be on Raw, but we're fighting for the best talent. Correct. I get what you're saying. I so, understand what that. I what say? I'm telling you so is that. So you should that. be saying great Rondo, pick Rondo, by SmackDown. Say? No, I'm saying pick, he just I told you solid pick. Raw. Me, I'm in because I don't think he should be stuck on Raw or SmackDown. Can we okay. just get to Rondo's perspective? All right, go, go ahead, Rondo. Because then we can continue. To I'll fucking throw a white flag. Yo, he's Rondo. really going to sit here and he's going to give me shit for the rest of the time. You're taking my spotlight. Jay, we didn't even get to his first pick. Exactly. Because taking my spotlight. Because he could throw out a name and we might not agree with it either. Jesus. Next up. We Rondo. We're not even up to NXT picks yet. He really, he really wants my approval. He Fuck, no, I want, no, both of you guys said he should be on Raw. So correct. I just said he should it's, be stuck on one show. He's right. one of, he's like Undertaker that he could pop up okay, anywhere. Okay, you're like right. That. Okay, okay. But, that's, but I'm not taking it away from him. That's definitely, if that's the hottest thing on the show right now, that that's who you should pick. Wait, correction. Right. He said, who would you say, Bray Wyatt or The Fiend? Because... It could be okay, the feet. Twice. Oh, <laughs> get the <laughs> fuck out of here! No, Rondo's gonna Rondo's gonna draft Bray Wyatt. I, 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 no, no, no! I pick Huskus the pick. Right. <laughs> I want Rambling Rabbit. Yeah, exactly. So Rondo. Oh, is it my turn now? Yes, yeah. I know, right? Fucking show stealer. Look at him. What a thirty fuck. minutes. Smug. <laughs> <laughs> 30 <laughs> minutes of Olski <laughs> explaining why he picked his first pick. <laughs> Fucking this is why the Fiend is my number one pick. Dying for my love and I'm attention. Support. This is why the Fiend should you know, leave. Fuck blue. you. I'm talking to both of y'all. <laughs> fuck out of here. But he gave you an uh, honest answer. Mine was just. I no, argued okay. with man, both man, of man. your comments. Hold it's me. Okay. No, okay. okay, what was the first thing I said? Solid pick, but I so think you should stay you. on Raw. Yeah, but okay. I, but if we're doing fantasy, that's a solid pick. Yeah, hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Breaking, breaking news. news. He's got breaking news. I just read it right here um, from Jay Santi. Um, Olski's a bitch. Okay, let's <laughs> Next up. Yo, Mike, you want, Mike, you want a bit, uh, button? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Sunned you. Next. next. Shut up. Next. Go ahead. Can, can I go home now? No, just go. No, he, he needs to slide into the fucking crash. That's what he needs to Mr. slide Santee. into. Mr. Slide Santee, into can I please go home? Into the crash. Mr. Santee, can I please go home? There's no, no love for He's Rondo. acting like this. Let Rondo pick. Let Rondo pick. Very. Next. <laughs> Bring back ECW 2000. For my first pick, off. I pick the ECW zombie. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's your R.I.P. Let RIP. me tell you why. That's a thumbs up. <laughs> For my first pick.
I'm taking Brock Lesnar. All right. See, I have those. Wham, wham, wham. You got to. Brock's right. got to be a first pick. Again, wherever. Again, solid pick, but I would reverse that. I know, but it's, right. it's fantasy. <laughs> Shut up, Correct. little milk. Sorry. You know, you know what's funny? This, this is not my show. <laughs> you know, you know what's funny? It's fantasy. You know what's funny is um. By the way, thumbs up. For thumbs that. up, thumbs up. Um, but. Mine thumbs down. No, no, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Well, you this gave, is, well, this we is, gave no, no, no. Hold on. Now, what? now, no, no, no. See, the thing about Brock. No, I'm kidding. I'm just trying to be like. Don't go scared. into. A, <laughs> don't go into. A no, the, the the thumbs up. Damn the right. Because that is a sweet pick. But right, the thumbs right. down is that he's much, a much better pick on on for. No, for of Smackdown. course, yeah, but. When you think the, about the whole thing, power. also is but that fanboy over here also, needed to have fucking uh, fiend on his show. L e s n a r n a r. But the E-R. fanboy here needed his fucking um and, Bray Wyatt. Ooh, and, and the A-R. fiend. But I'm gonna up. fuck you up real quick. You, you know better. What? It's Lesnar, not Lesnar. Yeah, it's Lesnar. And also, Jay, you're offending the fans. Put the fiend. L e s n a r. Because that's his new name. Oh, hey, sorry. Yeah. That's his new name. Just, I just want everybody to know we're a refined show. Uh, you know what it was too? When we did um, when we did the the last draft, we used to play the theme music in the background. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah we kinda, remember, no. Yeah. We're on a budget no, because actually, I can't do it now because the fucking the, the, the computer was shut down. You just do it on your phone. Yeah. Right. You got. Matter of fact, for your next pick, play the theme music on, on your phone. Mic. On your phone. Yeah. On the mic. Okay. <laughs> computer breaks. <laughs> <laughs> too much. It's too much bullshit. It's like so gay. <laughs> Now listen, I would do it the, the, That's, the how, we used to, well, that's on, how we used to get music. When exactly. We, and, and, hold on. The radio. Only and backyard, <laughs> backyard wrestling. Yeah, like, yeah. Hold on. Who hold got, on. Wait, who got a radio? Me and Jay commentate. Solid first round? Uh, Solid. <laughs> I, I, I could have dealt with less bitching, but it's okay. <laughs> I don't see, Watch I, your mouth, bro. <laughs> watch your mouth. But Jay, I think we both agree. Switch the picks. If, that, if the way we're going. <laughs> uh, all right. Well. You have uh, your song ready? Going. All right. I have my song ready. You have your team ready? Okay. Uh, The next pick out of SmackDown. Bray Wyatt. (laughs) The Fiend. (laughs) Again. (laughs) The Firefly Funhouse. Seth. Bray Wyatt. Ready? All right. The next pick is. The second pick of SmackDown goes to. And now we've been sealing up. Daniel Bryan. I can't. You know what? You want to take this one first? My man, D. Bra. Thumbs up because he's already on the brand. But good job for picking him twice. Daniel Bryan is known <laughs> to putting. Daniel Bryan is known for putting goose shit over. That man is the is the most. most he makes man. he makes chicken shit into yeah. chicken salad. I exactly. Guess. So uh, I would, thumbs up. Thumbs up. That, that's a draft pick. I would keep him on SmackDown as well. Thumbs down. Mm. For, that he's already on fucking SmackDown. Okay, but we're, we're drafting yes. like it's nothing though. <laughs> Can you it's try fantasy to... draft. Matt, the point of this is supposed to pick from the opposite brand. He just didn't want him to pick Daniel Bryan. That's what it was. He no, didn't want Raw to I'm take him away. This is everyone's no, a free agent. No, yeah, I, yeah. I, that's right. I, I get what you're saying. Ron oh, you treat as a free agent? Yeah, that's no. how I was doing it, too. Oh, you were doing it that yeah. way? Oh, okay. All right. Because right. uh, like, remember, you also have the, the, the wild card. No, 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 no. no. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, Everyone's a free agent. I know, Mike. I'm I mean, just know, saying that they have the wild you know, card. You know, it's rule. funny. That, it's funny that we didn't discuss that either. That is everybody a free agent or, or Every, everyone that's I think no everyone we're rating. So yeah. could somebody pick John Cena? Because for I example? think they're going to do the main people first, and then they're going to do the supplemental drafts like they've done years previous. There was, there was something called Sunday Morning Heat. Isaac, shut the fuck up, yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, you I'm, know what? You're right. You're I'm right. Treating, everyone's a free agent, but a champion. Okay. 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 Daniel Bryan to SmackDown. I didn't scream. <laughs> Loopholes, loop baby. Loop that was a good pick. That was a good pick. Okay, okay. Daniel Bryan to SmackDown. Give me give me thumbs, thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Definitely. Uh, definitely. Evil definitely. vegan, whatever character he wants to go. Yo, by. yo, yo, Mike, hold me back, man. I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> How? Uh, <laughs> next up for Raw goes Rondo because that's what he does all the time. At some point, what's a condom? Me and you. What? This is who we pick. A what? Fuck it. Huh? A what? Exactly. All right. Rondo's Next. pick for number two. And is... my choice for second pick is. Fuck you! Ooh. You took my husband. Oh, you gotta change. You gotta change. You gotta go in the well now. He was my boyfriend. Well, maybe you shouldn't have taken Bray White. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> 
Tate. And Rondo Tate. Drew, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre. Drew. The Scottish psychopath, baby. This is where I pulled James. You had, you, had, you had two picks in front of you. And I knew that was going to happen, and that's why I did it. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Now, now I need to like to think about Dude, this. Dude, he was list. number one on this list. And then you didn't pick Brock Lesnar, uh, so I took that. Drew had to be third. Uh, was second. He was, was going to be second for me, but Daniel Bryan has the more star power. But Drew McIntyre is a future champion in any he show. He has most potential. He has the most potential. He's well, the, that, he's that's a, now, that's a good question. Um, Everybody who isn't a champion of a certain brand is a free agent. No, no, no. That it, is it, it, What did you say? He, Drew, Drew McIntyre has what? Drew McIntyre... More he, potential. He could be a future champion on any. He could be the WWE champion on SmackDown. He has he potential won. anywhere. That dude is going to be a star anywhere he goes. Yeah. So that's so Rondo, an easy fucking pick, right thumbs there. Up. But you also said what about yeah. Drew? About Drew? Yeah, no, about Daniel Bryan is what? Daniel Bryan has star power, but he draws the thing, in the viewers for SmackDown. What you guys mentioned? Are they bringing up stars? Or they're doing the vets, or is Raw bringing up the stars? SmackDown, I feel like it's gonna bring it. Is gonna have mostly vets right, to so bring in the casual. So that's fans. so that's your vision. Yeah, yeah. For, yeah. For, your, for your SmackDown and your Raw. Yes. Drew okay. McIntyre, give a thumbs up. But I think he's going to the other show. Yeah, yeah. Next up. All right, my third pick. Please pick somebody from Raw. Yes, I will Thank pick somebody you. from Raw. So we can have some conversation. <laughs> <laughs> my third pick for. SmackDown Live, whatever you want to call it. SmackDown Friday, on Friday, Friday, night, Friday night SmackDown. Friday, Friday, Friday night SmackDown. Is... I agree with this. Wow. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Wow. Rico you know what? Shea. I agree with that. Thumbs I'm going to be honest with you. I might have not drafted him that high. But that's actually a really good fucking pick. Never bro. underestimate a ricochet, bro. That is what, what you said earlier. That about is Drew what McIntyre. we call in fantasy football. We call that a sleeper. sleeper. Yes. Yeah. That is a sleeper pick. Ricochet, that man. And plus, you're giving me fucking names that I don't really know how to spell. R I C O C H E T. That's good. Okay. Yeah, you're good. You're doing you're good. good. Okay, good. All right. Spelling is not my forte. Uh, Jay, uh, you, did, you didn't put the fiend. <laughs> <laughs> you put Bray Wyatt. Listen. I you put go. Mr. Rogers. <laughs> I think I think Ricochet. Don't be a mark. Right? He's amazing, man. I'm speaking for the fans. Ricochet speaks for himself. I, I had to go with Ricochet. Ooh, on look at oh, that! Oh wow! Oh wow! I give it a thumbs up because I agree with that you. That I agree with. I, like I said, I probably wouldn't have drafted him that high. I'm but looking at that is what you know. That's what you call a sleeper pick. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. I think on SmackDown he's doing. And he plus, do much with better. the um, uh, the direction you guys are looking for. That's one of those that probably needs to shy away from a raw look. Yeah. So probably go on yeah. SmackDown. Definitely. Okay. Hold on, Jay. Let me ask you quick. Did you mm-hmm. think he should have been on SmackDown from the beginning? What was that? Do you think he should have been on SmackDown from the initial? No, no. I, I, I really thought that he should have still been flourishing in an NXT right now. There's a lot of stuff he could have been doing there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. True. But Triple H loves him so much, which I get it. We yeah. love Ricochet. Everybody He's one of his Ricochet. children. Yeah, we love Ricochet. Yeah. But um, on SmackDown, he might get a better opportunity. Might and I think you know what it is too. If you put him on SmackDown, which would be a smart move, is because for a new audience to or a returning audience to wrestling, that's going to be the guy that they're going to gravitate yeah. to. That's the guy that they're going to talk. We were talking about Eddie Guerrero being a SmackDown guy. Ricochet could be that, right? Yeah, right. That's actually one. That's actually one. Uh, um, he could be a guy that one aspect the that they years. really need for that and show. On top of that, being it might be a veteran heavy show. You need you know, the same way that Eddie was with you need a lot the of underdog. these younger guys. You need the yeah. underdog. Yeah. You need the underdog. That's a good pick. Good pick. Him and Nakamura could have a match if you want. Right. Everybody right. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. All right. So, Rondo with his Smackdown. third pick. Rondo. Um, can we do 10? No. And we have the delegation choose. Oh. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. She's going to win the Raw title. <laughs> it's it's going to happen. I'm telling you. Let's oh, let it play oh, for oh, a Oh, wait. Hold on. She has blue hair. She's going to go to SmackDown. I want to I wanna, I wanna know the thought process of this. I can spell this one. I'm doing a fade. <laughs> hold on. I'm doing a fade away. All right. So Sasha Banks going, stays on Raw. Why? Why? Give me a reason. Why'd you pick her at number three? She's in blue. <laughs> Dude, stop hitting tap. Oh, okay. There you go. She's in blue. Don't worry 
about what I'm doing here. Where am I? Why does it be talking? No, no, leave her in blue. He you just know, the asked whole, you a question. Leave her in blue. He just asked you a question. Go ahead. Why I, I I'm trying Sasha to deflect. Number three. Okay. I, I was trying to deflect because I don't really have an answer. Oh, you think, <laughs> that, you think that's a weird pick? Okay. No, because I know that, first of all, you're going to have to have a answer? You're going to have to have a woman on, on as one of the first picks, obviously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, and Sasha Banks is hot right now. It's like, Why not Charlotte? Because Charlotte's not as hot as Sasha Banks is at the moment. Okay. Mm. Just, just ask it. It's a rebuttal. Mm. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Don't uh, fucking start with me, Mike. If you're going for star power, I would thought so- no, Charlotte would be. All, uh, and you got to well. think about it in their sense too. I can't think about I'm it only now, as Matt's no, pick but I can't. I can't think about it as me being a fan. Correct. I have to think about it as how they would think about it. Right. You know what I mean? All right. Uh, hmm. Thumbs up. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. <sighs> Oh, but, uh, you said I got, I, 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 I gotta give. Why, why not? I gotta give. Yeah. I gotta give him the eh. in the middle. The middle. You know why? Because although she might flourish more on Raw, because I think she's a Heyman girl kind of individual. Yeah. On SmackDown, I think with her ethnicity, it carries over on a SmackDown kind of brand. Oh, kind of brand. With the spirit of Eddie Guerrero living Eddie. in her. Yeah, but no, with the, the her being black, that kind of audience, you know, black people can't get cable. You got to remember, whatever. No, um, you, ha- you also have to remember this is, w- w- this is on Fox now. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. Right. Empire. Where are you going with this? Empire. Fox and Friends. Okay, okay. that's fine. Fox News. It's okay, but she's, they had Empire. The Empire, was an, and Empire was a black show that had an amazing fucking run. So you know they're they gonna want some blacks on their show. So <laughs> the new day. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that one later. <laughs> Apollo Crew. Uh, I have this idea uh, for listen, we don't, Jewish, the Jew Day. Continue. We don't, we don't need, we, we, we you don't need that. Jew Day? We don't need that huh? uppity guy. The Jew Day? The Jew Day. I did, so, say the, I did say the Jew Day. On uh, our next pick, number four. King Corbin. Maddie, Maddie, pick Matt, Matt, four Matt. for <laughs> Mr. Olski for Shut SmackDown. <laughs> SmackDown, don't my pick next them. pick will be... You want sleepers? I got you one. Dana Brooke. Samoa Joe. Well, there, goes hmm. that. there goes that one up on this. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what we're missing as well. We're not yeah. seeing stealing. Yeah. Uh, okay. What are you talking okay. about? Oh. We did it twice already. Okay, Matt, we get it. Samoa. Wow. Samoa Joe. Uh, Jay, you want to give your thoughts Fox first? Wants nah, their... you could go first on that one. Fox wants their big brutes. I got you the best one that never has won a championship yet. So you currently, so you pick. Bray, Daniel Bryan, okay, so it makes sense. Thumbs up. I think Samoa Joe should have never been moved to Raw in the first place. I think he should have stayed SmackDown. But solid pick. I, I give it. I if give I was it. A GM, I would pick him. I give it a thumbs up because they need him as a monster heel on that side. You're already gonna have Brock as that kind of monster heel. And plus, Fox will fucking jack off in a pants to see Brock versus Samoa Joe. That would be fucking right. amazing. But apparently what you guys pick, um, Raw's going to have fucking <laughs> uh, have Brock Great on balls side. of fire. But, uh, I literally yeah, think this is going to no, be the other way around. No, we're going to get, get a better match. I literally right. think yeah. this is going to be the other way around. Like, yeah, like, yeah. I chose, yeah, it, it'll, be, it'll be a better match. But I chose Samoa Joe for the fact that because he took two big-ass fucking monsters. I had to take right. the monster that no but, one thinks about. My thing on the uh, on the downside for it is that uh, oh, Drew, it. Joe is more of a raw guy because of his Heyman connection, and as well as he will be Universal Champion on fucking Raw. Mm-hmm. He you will. Think, you think with, so? With, with the clearing out of what's gonna happen in the draft, yeah, this is gonna give him a streamline to the Universal Championship. So, yeah. uh, no, for a good pick, for you for you as a good pick, if you stealing shit, yeah, that's a good pick for 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 SmackDown. Rondo picks AJ Styles. <laughs> <laughs> He's a champion. <laughs> He's a champ. You can't pick him. You can't pick oh him. yeah, shit. Yeah. He picks the OC. <laughs> <laughs> Loopholes. Uh, R- R- uh, Rondo, with your next pick on Raw, it's... Kevin Owens. Oh, oh, God. oh man. It's actually a guy yeah. who I thought would have picked, been picked higher. Jay. I'm I completely conf- forgot. Conf- you know Kevin why? Owens. You know why? I'm you know why I didn't pick him one. higher? You know why I didn't pick him higher? Because oh. of, regardless of everything that 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 we think or or that that is How going we feel on, about him. the storyline is gonna stick. On Raw, the storyline is gonna stick where the whole Shane McMahon is bringing him down or whatever, and they don't want him to be 
a fucking higher pick or blah blah blah, some bullshit. You know they're gonna do some bullshit. Here, here's I'm my. Good, I'm conflicted on that. Here's yeah, I'm kind. I I am too, and it's because what gimmick they're running with him. If we're gonna keep him here or uh, keep him face, who will he go into different storylines and angles with? Drew, Drew the face guy. Bro, we already did, no, we haven't seen him. In no, no, it, it has Ray? to be. And plus, you gotta give Ray's you gotta Ray. give him a run against somebody major. Like I could see him against AJ. I could I could see him doing that. We've seen that already. Yeah, I know, but I, it's a different environment. It'd when be the a bad thing if him and Sammy get put back together. Oh God, no, we don't need no. to see that again. As a matter of fact, you know, I I, <sighs> I I think I think a better storyline these days will be the Sammy versus Miss shit. I I kind of yeah. I like that more these days. Um, but with Kevin, if you give him a heel run, Jesus man, you could. I can't Easily. like him as a face right now. But I, too many heels I really right now. do. I do. I do like it. But if you give him a heel run, he automatically goes into the Seth Rollins kind of fucking main event yeah. type of run. You've got to uh, give him that. Yeah, it, it I, has give, to be. I give this a thumbs up. Because I, I like it if he's a baby face on Raw because we haven't seen that yet. I'm, all, I'm only going to give it this because I'm, I'm conflicted. I'm very I conflicted. I like him on SmackDown. It. I'm very conflicted with it. But it's not a bad pick. Me. I'm a I'm a KO guy. I would have probably picked him higher. I would have probably took him four. I would probably took him at three. I would have picked him at two. Yeah, over McIntyre. Over Brock. But again, like or, I said, no, no I, yeah, over or, McIntyre. Or, or with the whole, Bryan, honestly, with yeah. the whole Sasha Banks thing, it's like you already know, like they're gonna. Why the fuck you gotta? Him. You ain't gotta plead to us the case, bro. <laughs> we, we, we get <laughs> it. We're saying we like it. We get it. We got it. Wait till we get, it. We we got got it, we get to NXT. Yo, I mean, honestly, you better do the wild card rule and fuck both y'all. Fuck out of here with this shit. I'm over it. Can you do me a favor? Can you me a I can't get over there. My uncle. Okay. okay. Sorry. No, Oski's talking shit. Sorry, sorry. Go get no, it's Oski talking shit. As always. As always. So, uh, Oski with the yes. number five pick. It's only Corona. It's only Corona? Yeah, I'll take that. Right. <laughs> we'll I mean, what else am I going to do? We'll do another run later. What, what else am I going to do? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, Oski with the number five pick. Pick. By the way, you motherfuckers who's getting this show, y'all getting a lot of content yeah, this week, you man. Are, you are. Be appreciative. Hold hey, my thank back. you. Shout out to General Mission Podcast. <laughs> Productions. Uh, Productions. Productions. Sorry. Productions. My, my fifth pick has to go to the man. Mm-hmm. Yo, damn you, son. EC3 <laughs> to SmackDown. Jay. Jay. I got to tell you. Give this up. man his reincarnation he deserves. I got to tell you. As a top, I got to tell you. As an upper mid-card main eventer, he on SmackDown. Little high yes. for me. I would have probably took him at six or at seven. No, in WWE, he's probably a drop lottery. But. Pick. I didn't want Wano to steal him. That's why I had to but, do it. No, I, no, I understand. <laughs> We're doing fantasy. But in WWE, he'd probably be a draft lottery pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, um, With his current status. Little high for me. But he's, he's, he's a diamond in a rough that needs to be shined up again. When do you see him in the next year? Like, what's it, what, do you you think his, what do you think his potential is? Mid, high mid card, right. very much high mid card. Intercontinental uh, US, whatever time um, he's on, whatever. Should, he's should on. be should be in a nice decent run either with or against Miz, Nakamura, uh, Roman, Ricochet, maybe Roman. I think Roman. Ah, they're not gonna. I think him versus Ricochet would kind of be money. Not right. Say, it's, um, yeah. But you know what's crazy is that. He got a lot of shit and in, in, um and in impact because they didn't think that his wrestling was that good, but yeah. I've seen him do a lot of fucking matches that he worked his ass off, man. Yeah, and his well, promos re- are the best thing. About of it. course, the first, uh, he cut, the first he cut match again. he had it at the takeover, that ladder match. And by the way, he he fucking sold. Of course, for everybody. Take, yeah. in NXT he was amazing. Even his in NXT. Uh, match with the Velveteen Dream. I loved him in Brooklyn. NXT. He was there live for that shit. That yeah, exactly. Amazing. I loved him in NXT. But here's the kicker. Right. If you guys really want a new, well, because he's not that young, but he's kind of mediocre. He's in his mid thirties. Is he mid thirties? He, he could I, come I off think, as yeah. new. He could come off younger. No, yeah, I, but if you, need, everybody right now is new. But if you wanted a counterpoint, because everybody goes, uh, oh, you know, he's MJF, MJF, and Miz. If you wanted a counterpoint, that then you could get EC3 because his promos. If you let him go, yeah, he's fucking awesome. If so you let him rock, he's yeah, valid, he's man. awesome. He's got a physique. He's, he looks like he could fuck you up and be rich yes. at the same time. Yes, he has like the physique of John and Cena and not, a promo of like Ric Flair. And you have not yet given him that not, look not to not where that he is Ric Flair, but saying it's no, close. No, but you have not give off the look that he's money, like legit right, right. money. He's right. WWE's MJF. And give him some fucking WWE. I was about to say that this, he could be. WWE's answer to MJF. And give him some fucking WWE production movie roles and shit, man. Yeah. He, even, he's got the look for it, the bro. Even when, Ronda, <laughs> even when Ronda was on the show a couple weeks ago, I think it was like probably last week, but he said like when EC3 was initially brought in, 
you see him in the in the nice suits and the he's very well dressed. Yeah, he's, he's well very, dressed. And then he when he when it's time to go, he takes all that shit off and gets in the he ring. He did it for a We Alberto haven't Del seen Rio. that. Yeah, once. exactly. We haven't seen that once since. Let him come in. Flashy. He came in. You know, battled your boy Dean Ambrose and then got buried. And and, and I know I might get shit for this, but <laughs> and, it's probably, and, and it's probably washed. But you know who they really should put him in if he need, if you want to put him as like a a, a a conglomerate of what money is, right? Put him with Shane. Yeah. Okay. Put him with That's Shane. Smart. That stage, would be yeah. smart. That yeah. would be a smart. I agree thing with to that do. because they could feed off each other. Yeah. yeah. Put him with Shane. MJ- I, I, I'm not. I am now the the consigliere of. Sh- of Here comes Shane the money. I'm yeah. the EC3, top one. EC three could be as to change. and talk about that you connected with Dixie. Fuck it. Yeah. EC three. Yeah, talk EC3 about three could be like with Shane McMahon. How about MJF his, his is with Cody. Is, his name is Ethan Cartwright. The yeah. Talk about just just allude to it though. I would. Yeah. Allude to it. I would allude to it. Be like I have this rich aunt. I yeah and I. And I, and I she know, brings the impact. And I know what it is to 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 work with top professionals in the field, rich yeah. money. Uh, Call uh, him an uh, investor. An investor. Yeah, exactly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? MJ, MJF. Could, okay. EC three could be with Shane McMahon as MJF is with Cody. Yeah. My yeah. my yeah. rich best friend. Yeah. Um, fucking steal. Fucking steal from each other. Yeah. Who cares? Fuck it. But that's what the business Shane is anyway. More. So, yeah. just, so, you can, so so you can hear the indie fans or the fucking wrestling fans cry. Oh, they only see it for shut the fuck up. Oh, by the way, so easy three. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's. that's I, a, I agree with him. Like I said, it, it was a little bit. It was. A, it was a little bit high for me, but that's actually a, real, a nice pick. That's you a good pick. Well, you gave them diamond seven a, picks to work with. That's diamond in the rough. <laughs> yeah, seven picks. Like, how did I make them fit? Somewhere? Can we go yeah. ten? <laughs> Am I wrong? We, I'll give you. Can I'll, we make thirty minutes? This is what I'll do. After the seven, I'll give you one wild card pick. Big wild card pick. Okay. All right. Okay. Right. So, like a sleeper pick now. Because then yeah. also me and Jay have to do NXT. Yeah, because then we have to do NXT. This one. Come on, man. All right. So excited. Rondo's. My next pick is. I don't know who it is for you. Cause you oh, wait, wait, hold on. Where's my drum roll? Bro? <laughs> what is it? Rondo's Roman, favorite wrestler, baby. Roman back to Raw. Uh, Roman fucking Taz? Reigns. Taz is coming back? <laughs> Taz? Cena? Taz? Samoan Cena? That's Taz, right? Because if you listen to this, the theme <laughs> it song, it's actually yeah. Taz's theme song. Oh shit! Now Roman you, Reigns. Now you fucking ruined the song for me. <laughs> if you look at it, it is. <sighs> Roman Reigns. Dur, 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 dur. And I'm putting Roman, Taz. Roman Reigns. Ba- <laughs> Roman Reigns back to Raw. Um, the thing is, I liked it when he got put to, on SmackDown, but I think. But what has he done since? He's feuded with Raw guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's not lying though. He's, been he's not with lying. Raw. Yeah, no. it's perfect. He hasn't had anything significant. It's perfect. He's it's gonna not be lying. He's been in this. It's going to be the revamp of Roman Reigns. I'm he's been you. in this weird storyline with Rowan and Harper and now Brian. Uh, right. Obviously, we're not factoring storylines, but Roman no. Reigns back to Raw. The thumbs in the middle. Because I kind of like him on SmackDown. I'm going to say that I like it. I want him on Raw. They need it. They really they really would need it. And it's a better, it's a better fit for him there. They're going to need a lot of main event guys over there that – they, has they been, get, has had, that's had experience. They're going to need a star power. Yeah, they're going to need it. Because Con- John Cena's not coming back. And the closest no. thing is that, in their mind, is Roman Reigns. Yeah, yeah. I think Roman is a big fit there. Uh-huh. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a good look. And I also think that um, uh, with the possibilities, with the thinning of the brands, that it's finally going to be separated again. If it's right. booked right, they actually could put them in better angles. You don't have to put them in main, main event. The, the they don't have to do main event mm-hmm. first. But you could tease the no, climb no, back. Get Roman back in the yeah. climb again. Because people like Cause, Roman cause being the in the worry, climb. Because the worry is if Brock does go to SmackDown and Roman stays on SmackDown, that's going to be the WrestleMania. Match. That's the worry. Uh, but that's the worry. I'm not saying it's going to happen, yeah. but that's the but worry. But Ro- Roman, Roman needs people going like... To, going back to Raw, he can rekindle his feud with AJ. And Roman, and with, with, with Roman, it's better for him to do the fight, the, 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 the tussle back to the top again. So that works for me. So that's a thumbs up for me. Uh, we he are at... Let's go back. Huh? I think this is the first time we've ever spoke about Roman Reigns in a positive way. Well, you guys anyway. <laughs> no, because no, I think honestly, honestly, I love Reigns. Reigns. honestly we know what it starts. Power Leukemia is. sucks. And honestly, <laughs> oh, you ain't lying. Leukemia. That's my boy. <laughs> no, and honestly, Roman Reigns, the, the storyline with Eric Rowan is fucking working. He's getting oh, yeah, a positive it's awesome. outlook it's on awesome. it. It's awesome. It is. It's working. It, it, went, it went from the obvious way of him feuding with Daniel Bryan to Eric Rowan. Making a new star in Rowan, which... Oh. Shout out to Daniel Bryan for doing that. Right. <laughs> What's that? What yeah, yeah, you put it over. So next, next, Did next up on the plate. my boy Lars. <laughs> 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 next my, on a, my list. Oh my god, I forgot that guy existed. <laughs> <laughs> next up, my next pick. Is it a woman? 
No woman, baby. <laughs> You're very sexist. Oh, the War Viking Raiders? Raiders? The yeah. Viking but, but, Raiders. The Viking experience with a... They need that monster tag I'm looking, team. I'm looking at you, Jay, because you first, love ta- the tag division. First tag team. First tag team pick. I couldn't be all solo. I had to give a tag team or a woman, and I ain't going woman because all the good ones are champions. <laughs> so, no yeah. pussy here. No pussy here. All, all the dick. good ones are champions. So Viking Raiders on SmackDown would be the... What are you talking about? Dana Brooke? Wow. And Charlotte. Wow. Uh, no, yeah, I'm Charlotte. Okay. I'm okay. Um, I's I'm okay. Who's not this needed Ember on my show. Moon. What's your thoughts? Oscar. Viking, I never really thought about them on SmackDown before, <laughs> before today, but I like it. Thumbs up. It's a solid pick. You know what? Fuck it. Put them on SmackDown. Because you know what? I think the tag division on SmackDown needs a boost. And it, when, if, the, say, the Hardys do come back and they're on SmackDown, that's something they can do. Uh, and with the revival, that's... A and SmackDown always had, like, the, the, the more solid tag division anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, not, Initially, well, no. in the beginning they yeah, did. In the beginning, in the beginning yeah. they did. Remember, because listen, uh, don't you remember yeah, Deuce and Domino? You had a uh, uh, Deuce, Deuce and Domino. Deuce and Domino. The Gemini. Oh, stop it! That was waiting for the, <laughs> the most. Gemini. Well, remember, uh, I'm, Kendrick, I'm reminding you of tag teams that they Kendrick tried. Kendrick and, uh, and London were like the longest yep. reigning tag team for M&M, a while there. Yeah, Eminem Morrison. was on. Yeah, um, I don't. I probably wouldn't see them on SmackDown. But raw. the reason why that I would, yeah, they are more raw. But the reason why I would see them on SmackDown is because on the Fox, they look like football fucking kind of guys. And the they're Viking, Vikings. Is it, wasn't money uh, there? You trying to sell me? You trying to sell me? Viking Raiders, Raiders, Vikings. Vikings versus Raiders. Oh. They could be the special. Uh, they, by the way, they blew it last week because know, they, they should have had Rey, them at the game. I know. They put Rey Mysterio on that shit. What the fuck was right? <laughs> and they called that. him Nacho Libre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yo, they, oh, they, they straight disrespected Oh, Rey my <laughs> God. They called him Nacho Libre. Um, I'm going to say as much as I, I want them to stay on, on, on Raw oh. because it fits, but... For our SmackDown show, and Van- yes, Viking Readers that does get a bu- thumbs up for me. Yes, they do. They, it works. It works. By the way, Rondo, did he steal them from you? or you guys How many guys has he stole from you so far? Uh, he got Two? EC3 and Samoa Joe. And okay. He stole Drew McIntyre from me. Okay, so okay, so everyone else know. Okay. Um, next up, Rondo, you get Here we go. Six, six pick. Six pick. Six pick. What did we just say? I don't know. After the, na- after, after the Nacho Libre thing, I would keep him away from the number Fox. One, the number one contender to the Universal Championship. That's a, oh yeah, sure. If if and here's my reasoning: if you're gonna have a a Paul Heyman show. That he wants to build new stars, you have to have a, a veteran Make like a new locker room on leader. Raw. Make like a new SmackDown 6 on Raw. Mm-hmm. Rey Mysterio. And Rey Mysterio is a good locker room leader. I give it a thumbs up because I think Raw would definitely need a vet vet if they're going to include new faces on the show. And Rey Mysterio is a guy that if he can lose to like the new guy, it works. But um, yeah, I still had him on Raw. What do you think? You don't look so happy. After that, <laughs> fucking thumbs down to me. Well, what do you want me to do? Uh, again, I'm thinking like them and not me. I, I get what you. Uh, don't get mad. I mean, this is what I'm saying. Why is it when I say such shit, it's like fucking, it's like gospel. And you're quiet. But by the way, <laughs> just quiet. fucking thumbs down, bro. That motherfucker's out the door, B. Get him the fuck out. It's done. He's over. Retirement is coming. He's about to get attacked by the fiend. Tomorrow. Ah, please. And, and, yeah, exactly. He's gonna get fucking and, attacked by the, and, by the fiend. And he needs a son Volta to I, help I, him. I, so. I like I like the aspect that you're saying that they need a vet in there. If the, if the if the direction is new blood, right, right. I like that. I I like that that thought process, but not with Ray. I don't fucking see it. I don't. I, I really don't. <laughs> it's that's that's a. He's somebody I wouldn't. Thought that's of. that's one that 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 that'll give you a D minus after the fucking pick. I'm not I'm not a big fan of that pick. Hell no. Everybody gets a hiccup one way or another. So this but, is um, Matt's no, pick. not a not a fan of that one. I wish we West. had ten. I have so many names. Ohio Wait, you now. have two more. You have a wild card. I know. Yeah, and you have the wild card. I know. Two two more. Card. Yeah. All right. So, Maddie, your also, next you can pick. still pick from NXT. Just remind you. Well, we no, we cannot. cannot. No, you can't? Oh, no. You guys are NXT. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never See? Mind. My bad. Learn the rules. <laughs> Learn the Shut rules. Shut the fuck up, Randall. I haven't been here in a year. I've been in exile. But apparently, apparently, in that year, his ears stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, they haven't. So, Are you serious? Go on. Working in UPS, Fuck. it'll blow your ears out, bro. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Next up, yeah, with my the nef- final, with the my yelling. final legit pick besides the wall card. Smackdown goes to 
You said it before. Let's do it. Bobby Lashley. I agree with that. <laughs> Thumbs, up. Thumbs up. Bobby Lashley. Is there all Bobby Lashley? Bobby oh. Lashley. Bobby Lashley. That the man, man of the hour. That the man, man with the power. That man coming back. The physique. That dude will be the Brock Lesnar of SmackDown, <laughs> you wanna, bro. You want to pull wow. up and just you piss off it, right now? <laughs> you heard that? He's like, the, the power, the, the size the of physique, Bobby bro, Lashley. The physique, everything has to be like Vince. He's like a jack off on his face. Oh, oh, keep it up, my oh. <laughs> Keep it up, my <laughs> Keep it up, my bloop. <laughs> Bobby Lashley. Thoughts? I agree with this because I had Lashley going to SmackDown. Uh, oh, man. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> nothing really else to add. Lashley is a solid heel that could definitely work with babyface like Daniel Bryan, who's now a face. Uh, you want to keep him heel, though? What do you do with him as a face? He gets Bobby of Young. He, he, he gets no reaction. Well, Bobby Lashley has a face. You got to give him a manager. Don't you remember Bobby's great In which promo? WWE doesn't Philly? know we, what to do. We anymore. tried that with Leo. And no, that... no, no, no. A better fucking manager. We got it. The Who's problem is that Bobby Lashley can cut heel promo. Yeah, no, he, he, he did it in no, Impact. Cut heel promo. Yeah, just let him go. Don't give him fucking yeah. bullet points. Let him go. If he was, yeah, because like, Impact, he was great on it. Yeah. If he has the title collector gimmick from Impact, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I would definitely be on. Definitely. But you know what? He's sol- he's he's definitely solid. He has a his matches haven't been bad. I don't know what other people are seeing that he's like the worst wrestler they've seen. Yeah. It's like nah. No, last year is solid. He's, I want He's improved since two thousand seven. No, he's a yeah. He's a major. I want, want to be US ch- uh, United Universal Champion before he got left. So I, I would say know. WWE Champion. He's he's him. yeah. He's a he's a be- de- he's definitely a, a low main event, high mid card kind of guy. Yeah. But he's also a guy that. Can you imagine you put him as the champion on fucking SmackDown with Brock chasing his ass or, or him chasing Brock? That's money made. That's what Fox wants. That's some want. beef. And I'm going to tell you right now, that's what Fox wants to see within yeah, a they year. They want beef. Within a year. They want to see that. Yeah. That's their end goal for WrestleMania. Yeah, definitely. Beef. So Bobby Lashley's my pick. Thumbs up, Red? Thumbs up, Mike? High thumbs up for me. I would have probably given it to you higher if you would have drafted him higher. Hmm. I forgot I about him probably, hurt. Yeah, I would have probably I taken like, I like the Ricochet. I would have probably taken him at... Uh, at, at at, at four, but no, wait, no. Ricochet, EC3, and last year I all agree. Yeah, I would I would have taken him at the four. So you I would you would have switched Bobby Lashley with EC3? Maybe? Uh, I'd have probably took Samoa Joe less because okay. yeah, I probably would take it a little. But because I know I know what Lashley could bring to a SmackDown, especially at that time. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. But other than that, that is a four for our last pick. That's definitely one of those picks that nobody would have probably even thought about. Yep, there you go. Except for Rondo. <laughs> Rondo, who you got next? For my next, well, last pick, right? For wild card. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. shit! After this, you have one more pick. So let's take your life legit. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, no, I, I got a twist for you guys. I'm gonna twist right, for cool. you. Guys. All right, cool. All right, ready? Go for Go it. Go for the twist. <laughs> Tagline: Because Raw has just become the penitentiary. Ooh! That was me, my wild card pick. You stole him. You stole him. They're already on Raw, though. I'm pointing that out. Hey, look what he said. They're all free remember, agents. Remember, they're all free. And you know, those are my cousins. So we have a tag team. I have a tag team. Uh-huh. So we each have one tag team. Mike, what do you think? I like the pick. Uh, regardless of what they have done off Oh, TV, shut the fuck no, up. No, no, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm saying when I look in ring, it's a solid pick. Not Raw, a solid. It's a great fucking pick, man. Yeah, probably the best tag team they have Besides currently. Yeah, currently, yeah. Yeah. Actually, I had AOP for that one, but I forgot about the Usos, and I decided. Oh, oh no! Uh, I haven't been seen in two months after. Which is once again, as you know, we mentioned before, it's like, listen, you gotta get missed, and yeah. I am. I, I, I like Joe and Drew are missing right now. Loved them. I, I lo- even mentioned Lars Sullivan before. I and love, you're like, oh shit, yeah, he exists. I love the fucking Usos. I'm, I, I fucking rocks with them all day, every day. Yeah. It's a solid pick at seven, especially when it comes to tag teams. Especially uh, for Raw. Especially for Raw. And um, like although I, although America. although they might work a little bit better on SmackDown because of the ethnicity, but if you're going to keep Roman on Raw then you might be able to start a fucking faction and get the Samoan oh, SWAT team kind of thing going. Roman Empire, you didn't even think about that, right? Yeah, no, I did. You against did? against yeah. the OC there currently. Yeah, yeah, oh. that would be fucking amazing. So that was a solid pick there. Also, the another thing we, we you, you, re- about you, you came back with that after that Ray Mysterio shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got a two-for-one with that bullshit. <laughs> you got a two-for-one. And we mentioned earlier Raw versus like NXT type thing. You could see them against Undisputed Era. Maybe. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. 
this is this is this is your um this is your your fantasy pick and we have to pick what genre what uh um what what, what, what you could actually we'll, we'll give you Michael could give you either from NXT NXT UK anybody okay, female about this. female yeah you get a couple of minutes you get female you could get uh uh Mike has to pick and then I'll pick so Mike, who do you want to pick for? You want to pick for Rondo or you want to pick for 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 Olski? Uh, I'll pick for Rondo. You pick for Rondo. Okay, so you get to pick <laughs> anything <laughs> from they have to pick either a tag that team. Was good, man. Yeah. They have to pick either a tag team, uh, someone men. from NXT, someone from NXT UK, someone from Does 205 Live count. A woman, it has to 205 Live. Yeah. It has to be one of those. So, uh, you get to pick what they have to pick. So Red's okay. going to kill me with this one. But Matt goes first, right? I didn't uh, yeah, I, I no, 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 no. Oh, you want me to It's free form, yeah. It's free form right now. Uh, because the last one is, I, I'll give you the hiccup on that. Let wait, we have another pick? One. You get one because it's, it's. I, I'll tell you so what we're getting two more picks. Please. Kind of, kind of. Yes. Kind of, because I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to tell you what the pick is. There's a caveat, bro. Yeah, it's, it's caveat. Ah, it's an word, independent, caveat. it's an independent wrestler. He winked at me when he, when I said that shit. Caveat. Dead air. We're so, still here. So, whole milk. Uh, the give, host just had give, to leave. Give Rondo, and, uh, give Rondo the pick. You know, what kind of thing do you? What kind of thing do you want Rondo to choose from? Well, since we're doing fantasy, I'm gonna any go any, with fantasy. I'm gonna say he has to pick someone from the NXT UK brand. Oh shit! Male. Oh come on. <laughs> That's, I already know that's, who that's he's a, going pick for. That's a singles NXT competitor now. on NXT UK. Oh. oh, on NXT UK? Correct. It's oh. a singles competitor. Oh, come on. And remember, champions yeah. can't be picked. Oh, no falter. <laughs> <laughs> see, Let's see, get it. I want, I want to see who you pick. Fucking go. If only I watched NXT UK. Pick Darby <laughs> Allen. Oh my. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Darby <laughs> Allen. Pick Darby <laughs> Allen. No. <laughs> By the way, yeah, by the yeah. way, Pete Dunn is on NXT, not NXT UK. I anymore. know. Yo, oh, Red, okay, just yo, Red, he was like, yo, I'm picking a male's NXT UK. And Ronald gave the look nah, like, I'm picking Vault. I'm was, Wait, no champions. Ah, good ah. One, good one. Easy. Joe Coffey, bro, all day. Why? What do you mean, why? That guy's solid, man. Where's his theme song? You got to do the whole wind up. I don't think he has it. Yes, he does. Yeah. Coffee, yeah, coffee, not, coffee, coffee. Not, it's not on, on, on the fucking thing. Go, go on YouTube. Look up Joe Coffee theme song. Uh, well, I already up. said it, so whatever. Oh, you took coffee? Yeah. NXT Joe, UK? Joe Coffee, yeah. not Mark. Oh, you took Joe. Oh, okay. Oh, this yeah. dude's By amazing. the way, I, I love the Coffee Brothers, man. They are yeah. fucking amazing. You like the Gallus group with him and uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do. I love it, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually, actually It works so yeah, well. Yeah, Joe Coffee, uh, I'm not a big fan, but he is solid. Um, solid pick, yeah. All right. I, so I, thumbs up I, I, on I, I thumbs, wasn't thumbs thinking down. Joe. I would say that's a good up. pick. A thumbs up because I wasn't thinking of Joe. Me either. Me either. Good, yeah. good. I like that. Pick. I would have said maybe Tyler Bate. You ready? Yeah, but that's fine. Yeah, he's gonna fuck Olsky. me up. NXT female wrestler. Oh, okay. Not a champion. Not a champion. <laughs> Understood. Understood. Let me. Uh, let me. Don't go. Don't don't. Don't go with my homeboy. I already. I already would have. I already had one. For that. Yeah. No. No. I have one. But I just want to make sure I'm double checking with it. I got women. it. Let's think of the women. I'm <laughs> going with the, the 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 most probably the creative one right now. I'm gonna go Io Shirai. Ooh. Solid, solid pick. Ooh. Io Shirai. I, I think honestly, I kind of gave you a, go- I, I gave you a softball though. I, 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 that was a softball I gave. I was gonna go with Bianca but since Belair. You, since you didn't have females, you gotta give me a female. I had to give you a female, and I thought I was going to. I was gonna go with Bianca Belair, but her and the Street Profits gotta be. Uh, I feel like we're gonna be together. Well, you ain't draft yeah. them, so what the fuck you? Exactly. Care? So, all right. Io Shirai. What do you think? All right. No, great pick. That, that, if you're going to go in a well, that's where you're going to go to. Thank you. Me, I would have went with my boo, um, Mia Yim. Because <laughs> it's, I, I, I it's fuck smack, with that. She's I weak fuck right me. now, though. But you, know why, but, but you know why? It's smacked up because I'm going with the, the ethnicity thing. Okay. Although, Io Shirai. Io Shirai. It, you're she, trying she, to abroad in the... Right, but she will be a, she's a great pick because she's Japanese and they need to see a Japanese audience. And plus, she's awesome. Yeah, yeah. her she's new fucking character great. is fucking amazing. Yeah, that shit is great. She, that'll be a great heel for SmackDown, definitely. And I think she could go toe-to-toe with any of them bitches that's on fucking... You would put Mia Yim as a heel on SmackDown? No, no, I'm talking Io about Shirai. Io Shirai. Oh, oh, okay. But yeah, I would have went with Mia because of of, of her, um, her, 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 
Uh, give it's it also Oscar, if Oscar and Kyrie Saint stay on SmackDown, that's something. And you can see them well. go to they, they, what if they book it properly. The wars that could be there, yeah, it'd yeah, be yeah. awesome. It'd be the closest thing. Type to you, type, you can type them in. Nah, it's not, it's not necessarily. Wrong. Oh damn it! Lastly, here's the last one. Lastly, lastly, <laughs> lastly, before we let you guys go, if you were going to take a wrestler from the other guy's roster that they picked. Oh, ho, 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 who would you take? Can I go first? Can we get a pen? Uh, can we okay, we can do the dice again? Who did you who, you took I let him take the pen. Hold on, wait, Matt went Oh, you're gonna let him take the pen. I'll let him go first. You let him go first? Oh yeah. okay. wow, that's nice of you. Is my turn good? Ready? Yeah, yeah. Drew McIntyre. <laughs> oh fucking god, are you serious? <laughs> Drew McIntyre's my husband. I thought you, I thought you were gonna take Ray Mysterio. <laughs> oh shit, Kevin he's on the board? Wait, he chose Ray? <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> I, I messed up. Can I go first back? of all, can we work on a trade? <laughs> that's why I let you go first. The fiend, dude. You know what? Fuck you, dude. I'm out. Good night, everybody. You. Why you gotta open your mouth, bro? Let me do it. I didn't okay. hear. It. I didn't hear it. So. Nah, he's not taking the fiend. He's not gonna take it. I was actually. You oh, were? No. Oh I shit! I didn't think you were. Oh shit! Yeah. My bad. Wow. Well, okay. I'll wow. Get, I'll get 10 lashes for this. Mm. This is what happens when I'm not on the show for three weeks. This is what happens when you're on the this show. This is when I'm not on the show for a year. year. <laughs> <laughs> that is what happens. You fuck up everything. Uh, that's interesting. I would have I would have not thought that you would have taken the fiend. Yeah. In all honesty, I'll give you a thumbs down for that, though. <laughs> who would you? I re- I, honest to God, who would you sw- swipe? I would have probably taken Daniel Bryan. I would say Samoa Joe. Yeah. You wanted a vet. You wanted a vet in the locker room. I already have Daniel enough. Daniel Bryan is the fucking guy. Uh, I already have enough. How? Wait, Ro- Roman and <laughs> Rey Mysterio. Those are not fucking vets. <laughs> would Kevin Owens count as a vet? No, no, no. Okay. no. Okay, I'm just, How is Rey Mysterio I mean, not Kevin, a vet? I mean, Kevin, yeah, but not with the WWE style. How is Rey Mysterio uh, not okay. a vet? Rey, Rey's out the door. He's leaving. <laughs> How you know that? Did Dave Meltzer tell you that? He fucking Ray called. Mysterio? We were fucking yesterday. <laughs> listen, Ray's out the door. You listening to Meltzer again? No. Bad boy. Listen, look at him. He has so many nagging injuries. And plus, this is his way of fucking introducing his fucking mongoloy son. looking son. Right, so I got his son now. <laughs> I got two in one. I would have went Daniel. I would have taken Daniel. But but that's just me. Whatever. That's why I didn't do the picks. I'll let you guys know. Can I do one honorable mention? Also, I opened oh, this and God. ate it and it tastes like coffee. No, because... <laughs> Yeah, it does. It does. It's because it's because it, it, it is. Yeah. Can I have is, one, is honorable, good, one honorable mention. <laughs> it's a coffee flavored mint. All right, whatever. One honorable mention. That's not on my team, but I would have chosen if I was one more. All right. Cesaro. That's Actually, an obvious. I, I had Cesaro on my wow. team. Wow. That's find obvious. That's song. an obvious. Yeah. yeah. I Cesaro. Find his theme song, and that's why I switched. <laughs> Cesaro, Buddy Murphy. Um, who else? All right, shut go? the fuck up. We don't need to do it. You're about to do a big rundown. You know, nobody want to hear all that shit. Young. Well, your turn okay. now. So, uh, for... This live stream is going on a lot, but I like it, though. I yeah, mean, I, people I, still listening. It's yeah. a live stream. Whatever. Well, there's still like 10 people on here. Well, it was until you <laughs> fucked it up. What? Did you share it to General Mission? Uh, I told Ray and Ben to do it, but I'll do it again. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Motherfucker, we've been doing it for two hours. You didn't fucking put it on General Mission? Facebook wasn't working with me. Oh, <laughs> shithead. <laughs> All right. So, um... <laughs> shithead. For for Homok and, and, and I and myself, we have to make the NXT call ups or the um call downs. I don't like saying that, but the um the change the of the change of the, the, cha- the change of environment. Mm-hmm. Um and now this is your turn. You guys could do the eh, uh, eh. I'm giving you a fucking thumbs down for being an asshole. All right, that's fine. <laughs> You're mad at me because I'm fucking giving. I'm, I'm being. Hold I'm, I'm, I'm hold not being an asshole. Hold I'm giving you two thumbs down. I gave him the I biggest thumbs down. Of, I gave him the biggest thumbs down out of everything. I'm Ray so, Mysterio, I'm really? Joking, I'm he joking. I'm joking. Fucking Ray Mysterio. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Wait, crap. Before we go, who has the better roster right now? Oh god. When oh, I look oh. at it, I have to say SmackDown because of the Ray Mysterio shit. I really do. <laughs> I really do. I, honestly, Mike, I really do. what do you think? I would have actually probably make me pick. I would have probably put it like even, whole... but that Rey Mysterio shit just fucked it up. I knew I should have picked Andrade. That would have been. That would have been a wow, 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 yeah. I was gonna pick Andrade. He's on SmackDown, so and, I didn't want to. If you guys wanted to pick Alistair, Alistair Black. I was going to, but SmackDown again. He has uh, no burn right now. Yeah. He has no burn. They don't know what to do with him. Oh, my God! I got for Earth. All 
Yeah. I, don't know, I would personally put him on Raw. All Who's right. Going first. So t- type it in the group chat. Who do you think? Who do you think has the better draft? Type it in the group chat. Gotcha. Um. So with with uh, homework and I. Oh, sorry, sorry, I told you it's on the uh, Facebook okay. page. You guys suck. So um, you, apologize, <laughs> you apologize right now, Mister. I'm just I, I'm just asking. I didn't I didn't want to. He was like, rrr, rrr, no, Ray did it. Um, <laughs> and that's how homework sounds. I don't know, Ray did it. <laughs> so. <laughs> we we <laughs> we have to pick um three wanna. NXTs three NXT stars to get the call up uh, uh, and uh, main, uh, main, main rosters down. that go to NXT. So three go up and three go down. All right. So what we're gonna start for is the three the three call ups. So uh, okay. you wanna you wanna flip a coin? or we gonna do the dice. Um, pick. You. Where's the dice? All right. So well, you guys you guys just roll this. I'm gonna get that call. Okay. Grab Yo, we play that what? Oh, get the coffee. <laughs> Yo, we playing we playing dice. Uh, homework, you get, you get, you get, you get, I pick, uh, even. Even. Two. Even, there he goes. Okay. <laughs> Olsky said, is that even? <laughs> you ain't lying, <laughs> bro. Uh, two, that's, uh. Okay, so which one are we doing? Call up first or sent down? We're doing call ups first. Okay, so first person I would call up, Matt Riddle to SmackDown. Woo! Okay. First off, theme song, minus five points. <laughs> Where's the theme song? <laughs> Minus five. Drop it in the fucking notes. Yeah, My you, know what, you know, you know he, he's kind of right. I'm not going to even... need theme songs. He's Where's not, bruh? Yeah, he's not lying. Uh, bruh. There you go. <laughs> no, fuck you. Put music on. He's not do lying. You want, do, do I have to it's explain... It's too late for this pick. For next pick, you have to do Do I have to explain song. why Matt Riddle should go to SmackDown? Sure. In the one sentence. Obviously, he's a star in the making, and on Fox, I think it would be nice for him to be on SmackDown, and his background in MMA, I think somebody in Fox would be a we would definitely want him. And also, if Brock goes to SmackDown, that's something you can do. Matt Riddle and Brock Lesnar. I'm giving this pick a fucking thumbs up, man. Matt Riddle to SmackDown would put the UFC fans on Fox. Yes. Matt Riddle with the UFC background and shit versus Brock Lesnar would be money. Fox wants the real sports-like feel. Matt, Matt Riddle's gimmick is he's a real sports-like yeah. feel, man. That's actually, that's a, uh, eight. Oh, sorry. The hell happened? Well, I know who Jay's picking. <laughs> Miguel. Like <from> R&B. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that came from. Um, uh, Matt Riddle, I'm going to give you a thumbs up. Fox wants the sport like feel. You got it. Easy. Matt Riddle will fucking attract to all the fans on Fox. And as much as I'm still like, I don't get it. But he's, I'm, I'm, I'm growing. He, he's growing really? on me. Want- he's growing okay. on me. Okay. He's growing on me. He really is. Rondo. Uh, Matt Riddle. He's growing on me. Rondo. Matt Riddle on SmackDown. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Was that coffee? Um, yeah. So... I was you make coffee? Because Maddie had the uh, the positive, I'm gonna have the adverse. Nobody fucking remembers Matt Riddle in the fucking UFC, so nobody's gonna give a shit. But, you know, but his gimmick is gear. Hold on, hold on, hold on. His no fucking shoes. But hold on to uh, rebuttal. If he's on Fox and people don't know who he is, they can look him up and find this stuff out. But not even his gimmick is he's MMA. He has no shoes. He's not. He, he's barefoot. He has the trunks up from UFC. Regardless if you know him or not, you'll get yeah. to know him as the UFC and WWE right. superstar. Yeah. So that's that's the why wrestling I, fans now I know how he feels. You know what I, make, I was just saying what I thought and now you're But you know what makes me mad is that <laughs> you know what makes me mad is that um uh I'll just segue quicker about this. About the announced team. Since Renee's leaving supposedly to do the Thank show. God. Yeah. I hope they really do the thing where um Cormier becomes a, an announcer. I like oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I hope that happens. I hope Daniel Cormier does go in there. Yeah. Michael Cormier. Uh, yeah. My pick for the call up and I'm going to say like I really don't want it to do it. I don't really I really don't want to do it, but it kinda works, especially for the show, and it fits the Heyman look. It's Yes. Yes, I agree with this one. Yeah. Hit it. Velveteen the Raw. Yes. Oh. He said Heyman. That would give you a clue of which so, row. Yeah. I have to say I, that, that I, I agree. That 100% is so, agree. for me, it's so perfect. Originally, they need their gold, bur- the gold dust. I mean, <laughs> the gold bur- Originally, the gold originally, <laughs> originally, gold fucker. Whatever it is. Originally, I was going to go with Velveteen on SmackDown, but I think that's the obvious but, one to go. With. But with this whole Fox sports like feel look, Raw could make Velveteen Dream the next Gold Dust, the next entertainer. He could be the next fucking mysterious fucking guy. He has an NXT. 
I so much him, more than Goldust, though. Like, I give him. A oh, he is much yeah. more. No, than No, but Raw could have that. That guy, you know what I'm saying? Like he could have that mysterious dude yeah. that everyone. Will, he could be the Bray Wyatt of fucking of Raw, the mysterious fucking yeah. Velveteen Dream with the couch. Yeah. Thumbs up um, all day. Thumbs up. What do you think, Ronda? Yeah, I'll give it to you, man. Yeah. It's a good pick, and I think, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, for what you said, for for a guy that that uh, was, you know, will probably be working under Heyman, it, it's a good pick. And you know Heyman will you know, take care of him yeah, too. Heyman is really good with the characters. You know, you know he you know he won't turn into an um, a Mortal Kombat character like Eric Bischoff did on WCW. <laughs> <laughs> he won't turn into Scorpion, uh, Scorpion, uh, not Scorpion, Scorpion. So I give you both thumbs up on that one. Very good picks. Thank you. Uh-huh. Next up, what you have? Thumbs so, up. Another one for going uh, uh, going up to uh, the Rotten Demi roster. Uh, I think this one's obvious. I'm not gonna name, so I'm not gonna. You're not gonna do it. Gonna, I'm not good. You're not gonna cater. You're not gonna cater to them. It's fun, dude. I'll talk while you're doing that. You're you know not gonna I mean? cater to it. Like, I'll on, even play dude, the drum roll. Hold on, wait a minute. I just what realized that the... he's wearing the King of Talk Style shirt and he's wearing the King of Milk Style. You just noticed that now when he walked in and I was like, Ah, we're prepared. We're prepared. The I'm only gonna... one that doesn't have a wrestling shirt is me. I don't own that many. Not to mention, I love you do have wrestling shirts. I love how I pulled out. Yeah, your King of Jerk Style, your Jerk Style shirt. What are you talking about? You should change it to King of Mook style. Huh? A little too big on me now. You should change it to King of Mook style. I'm serious. That's what you should... Yo, you should make it the King of Mook style. King of Mook style. style. I I definitely will. T Public Isaac! Ready? Ready? Is that you? Going to Raw. That's Isaac. I'm not talking about this. Oh, that's AJ. Yeah. That's that's Maddie playing for T with you. Going to Raw, the Street Profits. Yeah. Fuck! Oh! <laughs> going to Raw? Going to Raw. Fuck! Because I believe Heyman. Like, Heyman's the one guy that told Fuck! them to go on Raw. He's the one that has pitched for them to be on Raw for the last couple of months. It makes sense. Okay. Uh, I think also Raw would need a night. Ni- Raw would benefit from a nice, fun tag team, with, especially with Montez Ford, who I could definitely see as a big star. And Angel Dawkins is a solid worker. I think the Street Profits could work very well on Raw. Yep. Just that I, I want to see them more in the ring. Cause I'm gonna I, be like on, the, I like the backstage segment. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to give this a thumbs down. That's fine. I'll tell you why. I'm not butthurt over it. Right. I will give it a <laughs> thumbs down because the Street Profits remind me of a current Los Guerreros type vibe. Okay. What are you talking about? They're like fucking... Um, uh, um, they bring the swag. Crime, what are they, crime time. So on SmackDown... With the SmackDown's always been known for the gimmick tag teams. They've been known for right. the Los Guerreros, Dudes and Domino. Right. The cr- it's open. Deuce. Deuce and Domino. Deuce and Domino. Which, not, which can you open it? I'm gonna give you a thumbs down just because I, when I see the Street Profits, I think them. I think that I think I see them getting lit on Friday nights with the crowd. I, I see them on SmackDown. Oh, this motherfucker came out with a champion hoodie. I am so tight right now. <laughs> this nigga came out with a champion hoodie. AJ, he got a champion hoodie. That looks nice, bro. AJ, shush. Oh, you haven't been here since the change. Yeah, yeah, we live right now, boy. Sorry, I trashed you earlier. Thank you, baby. Thank you, you, love. Oh, look at you bringing presents for the group. That punk Isaac in the building, sirs. By the way, Isaac, you've been watching the whole time, And this right? motherfucker got, um, he got, all the time? He got, he got, he got, um, um, Bermuda shorts on. That's my guy. I, I stopped that. Okay. He got Puerto Rican Bermuda shorts on. Yo, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have the DVD. Me too. Oh. Uh, so Matt says no. It fit on two DVDs. On I'm going to give that thumbs <laughs> down. You heard Jay? Uh, what, Ronda, huh? Ronda, what are you giving? All of Wrestling Society X fit on two DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> one DVD. <laughs> well, one. One. Yeah, one. One. Well, one. <laughs> <laughs> they, they kept they, they they didn't get the the big RAM one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Got me in one RAM. Is that like, how much can you fit in there? Five hundred megabytes. All right, let's load up Wrestling Society. How much ha- is left? Three hundred and fifty six megabytes. It yeah. still has gigabytes. It still has space for five episodes of Total Divas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so wait, uh, Matt said no to me saying Street Fighter to Raw. Rondo, what do you? I say? give it to you. Okay. I'll give it to you because uh, again, uh, Heyman is the type of person that knows how to work with these characters. Man, yeah. we've seen it day in and day out from the beginning of ECW till. You know, even recently. Remember, this, this, is a motherfucker that, this is a motherfucker that had um, New Jack. Uh-huh. So he likes the blacks. And no, <laughs> he likes the blacks. He likes to work with New Jack. He loved. Yeah. He had the, he had the Dudleys, so he loves the blacks. All right. Uh, but, okay. I saw. Uh, 
the other day I saw <laughs> Mr. The, Confederate the, over here. I saw the first time when uh, Devon was introduced to yeah. to uh, the Dudleys, uh, where he just came out of nowhere and everybody's like, "Who's this black guy?" Right? He's like, "I'm Devon Dudley." I'm like, "Oh, that's so that's how they right. did that." Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I go right. Yep, All right. Yes, so, um, okay. Uh, I just I'm going to Spanish I'm, and, 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 I'm and, happy I got my two picks. And, and this pick. and, and I'm gonna pick this one because my third pick is gonna be is my sleeper. Okay. Okay. And um I'm gonna pick this one now. And the reason why I'm picking this one is because of um it's a need for that and I mentioned it earlier. Oh. It will be um Me and him. For SmackDown. Okay. Perfect. Me and him on SmackDown. All right. Fox wants that big fucking beef that be the monsters, right? Now, I was expecting you. I was expecting you to say something worse. <laughs> Actually, not for nothing. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm surprised Braun isn't up there. He yeah. was my. He was gonna be my wild card guy. Uh, I would say Braun to SmackDown, but that's. I was gonna pick Braun, but once again, I had I had but seven. But I, I like I, 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 I like I like what y'all did is because like you you kind of knew where a lot of these wrestlers were already comfortable. Yeah. yeah. So it it really didn't really matter. Like you said, it's it's, it's fantasy a free trap. Agent. Everybody's a free agent. But like you said, some of the guys were already comfortable where they're at. Like Braun yeah. is a raw guy. Right. Like it's fine. Mm-hmm. You didn't have to worry about him yeah. leaving a, a, a show. Yeah. It's okay. Except for Rondo, that he felt that Ray Mysterio needs to stay on Raw. What is wrong with Ray Mysterio? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Rondo, give your thoughts. Me and him to SmackDown, you said, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's like, <laughs> that's your, that's it's, your I'll give you the middle because it's like, okay, I get it. I get what you're trying to do. I get what you're trying yeah. to say with the whole ethnicity thing. But in all honesty, to me, Mia Yim is not ready for any, any of that yet. Wow. Okay. She's not ready for it yet. Okay. okay. She needs to get a little more heat behind her before she can. She's only really up. had a push the last couple of months, if you think about it. That's what I'm saying. She's yeah. not. Like hot. She's only had her. Own and it's, usually it's, take and usually it's like red hot. Like somebody plus, like plus, Shayna plus, Baszler plus, plus, title, you know she's plus I didn't want to be sexist like um like Matt like Matt here who said no vagina no um, vagina to get picked. Matty, oh, yeah. I, and, and, <laughs> listen. Where's I'm Matt's not, girlfriend? Listen, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Right. This is what Matt said. Matt said anybody with a vagina is weak. That's just me. Whoa! I didn't Whoa. say that. I didn't say That's that. What I, heard. I, said, I know see, some women. I what I said. See. What I said was every woman I would have picked is a champion. I tried to. Pick, I would have got Alexa Bliss champion. Becky Lynch champion. And I tried so, to pick and, a strong and right woman. Right now, plus like the woman that's in like Charlotte. I could. I could. I could have went the same way with Bianca Blair. I would have did it, but I had. She's the one that's not like she's no, yeah, yeah she's still she's not kind of like she's, she's, she's good NXT right ready yeah. yeah but I like I like Mia Yim because she has like the look and plus that that swag that she has I'm gonna go comes with over. The because listen they gave Lacey Evans the fucking call up yeah. and she looked green as fucking goose shit nice character Why would you but do her in ring needs to get better exactly I, I will give you a that fucking sharpshooter was dick balls yeah that was, Yo, was, ter- oh, that was her the worst sharpshooter ever what, what did somebody say online that makes the rocks look like fucking gospel. The shit shooter. I'm <laughs> going to give you a thumbs mostly uh, sort of down. That's okay. But, but, oh, That's but it's medium. Much medium. That's okay. What'd you say? I understand what you're doing. That's a fucking sexist prick. That's why he's not. That's not. not. <laughs> he's sexist. The racist the eth- and the sexist. No. Is exactly. your girl, no. <laughs> is, she, is your girl watching this? The ethnicity part, I understand. Hi, Smack Matt's girlfriend, if you're watching this. Hello, Tori. <laughs> I don't. No, no, to be honest, but no, no, to be honest, you know, I'm not trying to deb- like debut what you're saying, which is fine. But I think that in NXT they've shown her to actually be better than she is, no. and they did a good job with that. What What would you say if you put her with a tag team of men, and then it's like a of men? Of men? No, like, they a do faction. No, they do the Santana Ortiz and the girl. You talking from, about a faction? Yes. Put her in oh, a yeah, faction of yeah, men. Yeah, yeah. What if you put her of with men? What, this, a this faction? Of yeah, 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 a tag team of men. men. No, I'm no, saying, old tag team no. of women. You have to pay thirty four dollars more <laughs> to see it. That's what it is. What, what just, would you say if you put digging your grave? Dude. What would you say if you put me? In that's thirty four dollars more. Sorority that's thirty four. That's thirty four dollars more on Pornhub. That's what you're watching. <laughs> Can we get to like what would you say if you put me in with the revival that, or some that, shit like that? I don't know. That makes no now sense. Now, now revival. So I'm sure it's like brainstorm. I know, I know what you're saying. Like if a faction, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Like maybe Usos. Maybe yeah, I get it. Like she could be um. What's the girl's name from LAX? I don't even know her name. Diamante. Diamante. Yeah. Diamante. Fucking yeah, that works. Of, I can see that. SmackDown. 
What? Nah, fuck That's Kira Hogan's you? boo. Hold on, hold on. Let's go back. <laughs> Mia Yim with the revival? I was bl- brainstorming tag teams out of my The Rednecks and an Asian it just, woman. I went to my holster. Walk into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, next third, third pick. Mike. My, 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 guy. my third pick. Is Going he crying? He's to... crying. <laughs> His allergies. My, my fucking allergies and the dog keeps oh, licking yeah. me. I should have brought like allergy pills. Huh? Drum roll. Oh, sorry. Going to Boom. SmackDown. Oh, Casey Catanzaro. Who's that? Oh, yeah. Okay. That? The <sighs> American Ninja Warrior Girl. Ricochet's oh, girlfriend. Oh, Cares. He want he wanted her to get drafted into his list, so he wanted. Yeah. It's a wild card pick because um, yeah, she's she cute, I... Isaac. Listen, she's like five feet tall. It's fine. She's kind of like AJ Lee size, but you know what? There's so much potential with her. I don't. Her in ring still needs some work. I'm her mad, promos you know, needs you know some what work. I'm but you know what? Her story can work going to Fox, and you know mm-hmm. what? It's again with the Matt Riddle thing. You look her up, you see her on American Ninja Warrior, I, you're going to gravitate fans who watch that show to watch Spectre. Here's my problem with all I that. Get, I get saying, that. You know, you know what I said? I get that before you are. I get that. You know what's the problem with that is that I'm more mad that you made the theme song for her than yeah, anybody yeah. <laughs> The WWE Dead music ass. at YouTube Dead channels. Ass. You did it for her for that. No, I knew. That's why I didn't want to do music because if I played that, you'd be like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, I kind of was. Yeah. Uh, I had to say her name. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I told you exactly right. Was say. Isaac doesn't even have headphones. Well, no, you can still listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah Give it a thumbs down. It, it was market. something about Casey Catanzaro, and I don't know. I don't remember now. <laughs> if you look that, up, that made me lose my train of thought. <laughs> if you look her up, you're going to see she's on Megan. Oh, Warrior. that's what it was. Yeah. So here's the thing about that whole thing. You keep saying they're going to look him up, but you're giving yes. wrestling fans, and you're giving these people Too who much are going to come in way more credit <laughs> than they fucking deserve. Because I know half the people that that I know that'll tune into whatever or fans, the first person before they even go on Wikipedia is text me, okay? Like, oh, I didn't know Chris Jericho was in AEW. Oh, you could have just looked it we fuck up on the internet. You ever heard of Google? Where has he been for three years? Okay, but you know what solves that problem that Rondo has? Okay, it's called vignettes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We've been missing. Give that. me We've vignettes. Make her m- yeah. give her give. One of the vignettes would be her winning. This nigga bought me. Sorry. <laughs> Oh! This dude bought Beep. me Coors Light. Coors Light? <laughs> we out here, boy. Do you drink Coors Light? No! Oh. But Silver Bullet. But you beer is beer. I, I will because my boy. You want one? Hell yeah. So cool. Stop saying the N word. My boy. <laughs> What's better, Rondo's IPAs or Coors Light? I never had Either Rondo's IPAs. <laughs> I was trying to have a gimmick for the show. Not I'm, everybody has the, the, the craft beer gimmick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it because my boy did it. But Thank here, you, Bobby. Here's the thing. Now you notice everybody has a craft beer gimmick when I was trying to get us on that. You ain't lying, though. You, it's true. Right? Yeah, right. Am I so, wrong here? I have three friends that have podcasts that are now doing the craft beer thing. Yeah? Everybody want to be drinking? Everybody want to be drinking Whatever. craft beers. I was trying to get us a sponsorship, you know. With <laughs> you, you, you're still pine for it, too. Yeah. I'm going to give... I'll also say this. I was thinking of saying so Bianca Belair out loud for Raw. So then... Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> you screw up your own equipment, bro. <laughs> That's what it looks like. You got to chug it. Everybody saw that right now. He has to chug it. Chug, 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 chug. All right, good luck. I'll just be with towels real quick. Well, God Yo, damn it. Uh, so now you have to do I'm gonna the, give, the no, send I'm, downs. I'm going to give Katie Kenazaro a thumbs up. If you give the it's vignette. Casey. Casey. Whoa. You can't even call her name out. All right. If you give her the vignettes for to make people aware of if her, you show her I'll give her a thumbs up. But if you randomly throw in. That's how much up. I really wanted to drink Cause Life. Yeah, right? <laughs> Yo, he spilled the beer. No, no, man. I get People are going to eat. People no, will be like, he didn't, it wasn't meant to be drinking. Say if, the, if you announce her and then in the next couple of months, you show Like, the Casey's her. coming soon. Listen, with I, the, I, the look, I, I understand she's what you're trying in, to she's do. She's jumping into action. I understand what you were trying to do, having uh, Lacey Evanzaro. Uh, Casey uh, Cadenzaro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lacey on SmackDown with, with Ricochet. <laughs> we need some Windex. Windex Lemon Pledge. Nah, this is working. Right, don't worry. Um, <laughs> Lacey Lemonzaro. Lacey Evanzaro. <laughs> or whatever the fuck her name we need, is. We need more relationship. Like, we need more race, fucking relationships. Like, we need brain cancer. Lacey and, <laughs> and then, if that does happen, then you know she's going to be on Total Divas. Exactly. So just I'm, like I'm, I'm gonna that be, wasn't my sales pitch. Just like okay. I'm going to be on Total yeah, Divas well. this season. 
they found a way to make it a pitch. <laughs> cheap pop, cheap pop, guys. Because cheap of, plug. Because of course you already know that Ronald's gonna be on fucking total Divas That's next right. week. <laughs> I give her a thumb. I give her a thumbs up, man. I enjoy it. It's, it's something new for us. She's, she, no, she, but, uh, no, she no, has no, the athleticism to work. Cool. work. And to be honest, I'm not, I'm not and to be honest, the women's division on the roster needs a high flyer like her. Also, if you think about it, everybody on the roster is probably like 5'9". Five, five, Name ten. a high flyer. Casey Kenzaro is, is legit 5'8". She'll feet. be the Chad Gable of women's division. So now, so Don't now call her shorty. Got, Don't call her shorty. So now we got the so three, I picked, the three so that I, go down. So I picked maybe. Riddle, Street Profits, and Casey. And I, um, I have I, it's my it's my pick left. Uh, yeah, one more, yes. He said for the call up. Dream to Raw and Mia Yim to SmackDown. He has one final pick. And here's my pick to Raw. Okay. Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the man. So, so here, here's the other thing. If, if wait, which brand? If raw, I said raw. If oh. you were picking uh, Johnny Gargano to raw, why the fuck would I need Daniel Bryan? Huh? Oh. oh. What do you mean? If you were saying <laughs> Daniel Bryan, Bryan I should have picked Daniel Bryan for raw. Why the fuck would I need Johnny Gargano? Woo. Wait, say it again. Or vice versa. <laughs> right, right. Say it so time. earlier, you said right. that when I when I took the fiend. Okay. You said I would have picked Daniel Bryan right. for Raw. Okay. But if I'm picking Daniel Bryan for Raw, why the fuck would I need Johnny Gargano? Okay. I'm going to tell you. I'm not. My no, no. Way, I'm, my I'm, way, asking, my I'm asking. My, 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 I'm asking. Remember, we're not picking for you. We're doing our own looks. Okay. Fair enough. Exactly. This is Fair our enough. own looks. But if you want it to have yeah, this I want to hear. Okay. Hear, yeah, absolutely. Please. Number one, Gargano has the most fucking look out of any wrestler in fucking NXT, Indie World, anything right now, to need to be, well, for they feel the fan base that needs to be on a main stage. Right? That's one. He has the look. I mean, I would fire his barber, but I got you. I'm, I'm, I'm not, not no, the no. look. It's not even the look. No. It's just, it just, just but, the wrestling prowess and just him fine. being him. That's one. Number two, he is the ultimate old underdog. He's now will be the one that replaces the Daniel Bryan look to now become, become that. Yeah. Secondly, I really don't want him on the main roster. I enjoy him in an NXT. Oh, that was, that's yeah. my opinion. I enjoy I him all, on the NXT. I, I think we all agree, Giants. But be NXT for life. I can't. There was no one else on there for me to take because all the fucking uh, Undisputed Era is locked up. Remember, the champions can't take them. So, what you're saying, you had to Masa Ciampa? Huh? You had to Masa Ciampa? Yo. Yeah, but without... I, there's no, there's no Ciampa <laughs> without Gargano. There's no yeah, Gargano without Ciampa. That's fair. One has to go with the other. You if, know you bring, I... if you bring Ciampa to the main roster as a heel, everybody's going to be like, what? Why is he Who, Why is he here? Right. Why there's should, no, why should it's we, the same why thing when you take it seriously. It's the same thing when you brought Owens with fucking um Sami Zayn. Everybody, if you'd have brought one without the other, everybody'd be like, "What?" Mm-hmm. Which they, nobody would have known. Which they, that could which run, is they fair. Could, they could every, run into a problem with. And that. I get everything that you're saying, but you're still not answering my question. Which is what? Why would I need Daniel Bryan? Then? He wants. To but you. Texas. But that's your pick. I would, I would, no, I, but I'm saying, and, and let's say, let's play devil's advocate. I, I know what you're right? saying that yeah. if I would put that, but 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 my whole my whole point was like my my pick wouldn't have been. Daniel Bryan at all. My my whole raw pick would have been different from yours. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Don't compare no, no. minds. What what would have been yours? It'd have been different. Um. If I if I if, okay, I'm gonna give you a thumbs up. Fucking <laughs> instigator back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking instigator um, back there. I fucked someone with the Mets hat though. A, they walked off. But you're on Homer. Uh, oh, but he got the Mets hat on. So then, so now I'm gonna give like, you a th- I'm gonna give you a thumbs down, man. Okay. No, no. Thumbs up because there's no one else. But you know what I would switch him with? Maybe I would switch him with a, uh, I don't know, maybe a Dominic Dijakovic. Okay. Now, 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 I'm going to tell you this. He's not well known yet, so maybe. And I'm going to tell you this. If we would have had the choice to have, like, uh, the, the sleeper pick or the last pick or whatever, Do- Dominic would have been there because he's a Ring of Honor guy. He's been there. He knows the experience or whatever. And I love him. He's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. But – I'm talking about main guys to come up yeah. now. Yeah. Right now, yeah. It would have been it Johnny. Go. It would have been Johnny. He, honestly, been Johnny. For, for me, I would pick him for SmackDown. Dominic Dijakovic. I, I, for yeah. SmackDown? Yeah. Mm. To get, because he, 
I think he doesn't have that. as much of a character you know what he as rem- he has that that like big brute. You know, who he reminds me of with be- what better talent. Uh, Martin Dre. Uh, no, um, uh, yes. Matt Morgan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Matt Morgan. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, Matt, Matt Morgan. The right. real blueprint. Yeah, Matt Morgan. So yeah, okay. Uh, so so now, now you it's three. Now you have three main roster people going down, 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 which I already know one of them, and I'm from either of you. And where's where's Apollo Cruz? No. <laughs> Where's Apollo <laughs> Cruz? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give you one. Red's got him. <laughs> Hold and, on. And, He's and, one, two, and three. <laughs> Jay, Jay, I'm him. ready. Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins are off the table. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Red's got Apollo. I know it. That's fine. Fuck out of here. Zack Ryder and, 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 and Apollo is one, two, and three. And I'll also, I'll also say I'm not going to pick Cesaro because that's too obvious. I got a piece of you. You go first. What? I got a piece of you. You go first. Okay. Okay, so I have mine ready. Drum roll, please. No drum roll? No drum roll. Uh, oh, you, I'll, I'll just play it. I don't give a shit. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh. oh. Whoa. That's kind of controversial, though. Yeah. I ain't, I'm not going to lie, though. That is kind of controversial. Controversial on the fence that, on, on the fence that I I agree with it. Yeah. I got so pissed it's when he came not back. It's not necessary. <laughs> I got pissed when he came back because like he could have been a surprise for NXT to, on TV, but I pick him because I think on NXT I Rusev. Pick, I, I pick Rusev to go down to NXT. You the shit out of <laughs> 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 Don't be talking about my man Rusev. You, you wilding right. <laughs> Smack the fire out of you, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> How do you man. do that on Rusev Day, dude? <laughs> Rondo's giving you five thumbs down on uh, Rusev Day. All right. Before he even a- came after back. After we do this, after we do this, we'll do one one random pick. You know oh, what? The same uh, thing uh, we'll do with that. No, 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 later, 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 later. Yeah. Oh, you want to choose? choose? No, you want to choose? We did the same thing. For okay. Them. They should do the same no, thing to us. All right. I want to do a quick recommendation. Over. Okay. Let me just do it. I'm going to cut the mic off quick. Hold on. Wait. Okay. All right? Yeah. yeah. That's good? Yeah, you that's like good. that? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Can we all pick one? Huh? We all pick one, right? We could all pick one. Okay. Yeah, we could all pick one. So, Rusev we'll to out. NXT. I think it would be good for NXT to get another star on the show. And Rusev, I think, on the main roster has run its course. I think he's a good wrestler. But on NXT, I think the opponents, to me, are more appealing. Him against Johnny Gargano, Adam Cole, uh, Keith Lee, Matt Riddle, if he stays Ooh. on NXT. like The potential for Rusev to go back to NXT is... There, he could be NXT champion if they push him right, and also we have Killian Ding. I can't believe that people are actually still watching this shit. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, Holy shit, it's been like four hours. You should, and they're still hanging on. Yeah, you should. Yo, you thanks to everybody still hanging on. Yeah, there, thank man. you guys. You guys are awesome, man. Um, we're we're having a good. I'm having a really fun time, man. This is fucking awesome. So Hell yeah. I want to give you a thumbs down. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I gotta give a thumbs down, dog. <laughs> he fucked me up with that one. Yeah. We're having oh, a great oh, time. I wanna give a thumbs down. I, I, I such a great time. Off. It's so good. I'm Watch this. Wait till he sees my pick. <laughs> if it's Drew McIntyre, he's getting out of his own crib. No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, I'm Rusev, I'm going to give you a thumbs up, actually. Rusev's, because, okay. I, I'm, seriously, seriously now, I'm going to be honest, Rusev with the whole mustache, his whole new look on NXT, yeah. he'd fuck shit up. Yeah. Right. Him versus Keith he Lee, Rusev versus Donald Trump. Okay, he, yeah. he looks really good, man. Yes. He looks they really might have good. That was the first thing they said. Like, oh my God, look at Rusev. Holy now. Shit. They, Holy shit. He, coming out of gay porn. But again, <laughs> but, <laughs> coming out of 80s Playboy magazines. <laughs> no, but again, Rusev. But, but, but again, I have Rusev. I had him projected to go to NXT. It's just that he came back too early. It could have been a good surprise for TV. Home milk. Nah, I think, Rusev, I think he came back. He came time. at the right time. I think he came back at the right Rusev time. Rusev to NXT. No, I, I understand, yeah. but it, think of the pop if he showed up in they could the first do, episode or the second. They could do. You know what? Yeah, you're right though. It could right. Been. But I, I like it because I think they did. That's Cause what cause the prelude to. Because people are not expecting. It. And but plus, at the same time, what we were talking about earlier, I don't think they're gonna shoot their load all in one night. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Pause on that one. No, no, I no. What are you talking about? I like my load getting shot. Early. That's a that's, wrestling. That's a term. That, that, that's a term. That's a wrestling free. Yeah. All right. I was fucking being funny. You were the one that came out of the bathroom. Like, no, 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 no. Smack the fire out of you. Fire, bitch. No, no. Fucking no. shit out of you, man. Yo. Rusev Day. So, <laughs> Rusev Day on NXT heel? 
could be done right. right. Yo, Ben. Sorry, I almost said that. Ben just said he's been asleep for an hour. <laughs> With the stream no, on. He's just been still watching. Yo, Ben, 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 you, you, you got to like That's man. awesome. Let it run. No, my thanks, next, no, wait, no, my next said, pick for my name was Cain Velasquez <laughs> on it. <laughs> Let me no. smack the shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, Rondo, you, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. No, I'll give you the thumbs up on that one. I think that would be a good thing. And I think that... It's not gay cool game, Oscar. Uh, I think it would be one of those things, like you said, uh, he'd be on top and he'd be on top for a bit and also <laughs> help some of the guys kind of like get adjusted, adjusted yeah. to that TV style. If, if you give Rusev cool game monster as a manager, he's shooting up. Because Here's a problem also is that in NXT, you have so many guys being called up that you don't have You're a lot need of to bring guys people down. that know how to work the Vince style of yeah. wrestling. Yeah. So it's perfect. Yeah. yeah. I'll give you the uh, I um I I'm gonna I'm, say I'm doing that, this by the way because I can I don't want to see like, Jay's phone. Although although Apollo Cruz would be the fucking number one. <laughs> Are you but, taking him off now because I said it? Kinda. Oh come on. Uh Matt, I was gonna pick him third. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna but I, I'm gonna say and it's gonna be bad. But oh the fucking motherfucker with Jay's NXT gets oh. <laughs> I like that one. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. We get it. We get it, Pinch your All right. Alistair Black to NXT. Explain. I don't, I don't. I really don't think I have to. They dropped the ball on him. I'm gonna be honest with you. You're getting a thumbs up. I think. <laughs> I think. They fucked up. They yeah. fucked up. They fucked up. Straight. Let's just be honest with it. Ricochet. They had more faith in Ricochet out of the two. Mm-hmm. Ricochet has a more. Fu- is on and, TV and didn't week. I tell you that? Yes, you did. And then I, say I that? wouldn't be. I wouldn't be shocked if he goes to but, Raw. But, but NXT is also a good destination. But not. But for not him. only that. I also think that. With. What he was doing at NXT against the Undisputed Era and all that stuff, being that the, rivalry. Being the Goldberg, being uh, the, Alistair Black. I think it works perfectly yeah. for him. Because he could go against Roderick Strong. He could go against Adam Cole. And he could also go to NXT UK. Yeah. He get some it, pop there. He could go to NXT UK. I mean, like, it, it works perfectly for him. And I'm sorry, but it's true. He's got to go down there. He's got to. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even a demotion, man. He'd be, it's got to go. Now, now it's, it's got to. Now, you're not, now we're not I think it's a smart move, honestly. Fame. I think it's a smart move. Yeah, right. To kind of, like, take him away from all that and kind of build him back up again. Though. Yeah, you know? it's... They already took him away. They put him in a room. No, no. no especially <laughs> if, if we're talking they about... They put him in a room <laughs> cutting promos every week especially about knock on my door. If we're talking about the way that they envision SmackDown... I think they could send him back down and kind of give him that that look. He should have never spoke. That look. He, he never spoke. Never give spoke. him the abyss treatment. Yeah. Cesaro, never you spoke. knocked on my door? Give him, <laughs> <James Mitchell. laughs> Here's the thing. give him James Mitchell. Give him James Mitchell. It's so easy to put a fucking manager on him, and Vince just doesn't believe in managers anymore. Yeah. I don't yeah. think he James ever yeah, Mitchell. I don't true. think he ever did. Yeah, I think true. it's just that when, when, when in the you early know, 80s but when and you, 90s. But when you come to right, when you start looking right, right now at a lot of these um, promotions, a lot of them gave up on managers. Yeah. They did. But they why? Didn't. I don't know. Because of WWE. I think because it, WWE No, no gave... I, I think it's because they don't want to spend the money for, for that. I really That's don't. That's kind of true. Because at the end of the day, too, a manager is also an agent. They're a booker. They, they work their... Mm-hmm. And that's money. That's yeah. You know, you got to spend the money for it. Hopefully, AEW brings that back little by little. But, you know, you, you remember, like, you know, J.J. Dillon was great for, for the, 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 the Four Horsemen. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, Heyman was great for for WCW and, and Brock and all. It's just you really don't want to spend money. You, there's wrestlers that need that. Yeah, it's crazy. So many. And here's the I'm thing. Sorry. I know, I'm sorry. I think. I know. I'm sorry. And here's what happened. The Vince, thing is, I agree with most Vince. Of never. <laughs> I just don't want. And just to, to finish happen. up on that subject, Vince never liked managers. He just inherited the managers. Why that came in the yeah. '80s they built whoever. your product? In the '80s, why are we talking about managers when it should be about Alistair? <laughs> All right, Next so you're up. up. All right, I have my pick ready. No drum roll? Okay. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. It's fine. No, Hold on. Here. Shelton Benjamin. Yep. Ooh. I like that. 
Oh, I like that. Because NXT I'm, I'm, I gotta needs agree. a vet. Oh, my God. We've been talking I, I, about... Where is the theme music? Hey, that's his, That's his fault. Does anybody know it. his theme music? <laughs> Ain't no stopping me. Used to be. The amount, the amount of times that he's come out during a commercial, I don't know what his theme song is. And to be honest with you, like... There's no, there's no argument about. It. There's nothing yeah, to say. No, that's absolutely. that's automatic. That's great. The only thing I could say is he's a vet, and NXT would definitely benefit. Definitely, from having that's a great. Vet. That's great. Two thumbs up. You, you guys great. praise him for so much. That's a sleeper. Uh, that's yeah. a sleeper. That's a good pick. That's, that's a, a sleeper. I, I wouldn't have thought of that because I, I wanted him to do so much on the main roster. But you're right because he's a solid mid card. I honestly say yeah, yeah. this. I think he's one of the few guys that if Vince told him we're gonna send you NXT, he'd be like, okay, that's cool. Fine. Yeah. Like. Oh, these guys I play. live in Disney World anyway. <laughs> and, and, he'll, and he'll have a solid job at the performance yep. center to do such. So right. Trainer That's slash perfect. vet. He would, be, he, would, he would do what Rey Mysterio want, would do in, on Raw if Rondo with Rondo's pick went through. All right. Yeah. I, I, I think my picks are just, are just, That's cron- you, uh, they're just fucking controversial. Should, should I get my tissue oh, now? He, well, I'm ready for this. I'm waiting for it. Come on. Come on. I'm going to go bring with. It, bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Yeah, right. Bray Wyatt. <laughs> Nah, bro, nah, son. Nah. Oh, he's a, he wants to send Andrade back to NXT. No, he wants to send Davina Vega. <laughs> yeah, fact. Uh, clarify for I the... Can't. I can't. Okay. okay. Andrade is one of my... No, I want to hear why. I no, 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 hear no, no, why. no, 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 no. You guys are, you la, guys la, are la, dead la, ass. La, you guys la, are la, dead la, ass. La, 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 so you tell me why you dead ass. Why? Why? Tell me. That dude, it, I put him right next he's to him, maybe right a little bit below. Than Drew McIntyre's future in the company, man. That dude is the next. Viva! Oh, but I thought it wasn't a demotion. It's not. He's a but better version of Alberto Del Rio. Absolutely, but wouldn't you put on Jordan on SmackDown with the ethnicity thing on Fox? <laughs> We're throwing the ethnicity card now. No, no I'm, 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 I'm not saying anything. Del Rio until I hear why. Huh? I'm not saying anything, anything until I hear why. Well, let me check in my gun. I don't want to say anything until I hear why. Okay. While you, while you do that, I'm gonna think about my third pick. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else has qualms? I'm Nobody? Okay. I just hate the idea. It's your pick. You have the floor? Number one. He makes everybody in NXT look so fucking great that they brought him up too early to push it. And when they brought him onto the main roster, they teased greatness with him but pulled it back. Why? He doesn't speak English. Put him back down to NXT. Let him learn. Because he's still learning the the, the, the the American ways of wrestling. He's still mm-hmm. working that. He still also like, needs to work on cutting promos. You got you got a great manager. It's great. Right. Zelina Vega is good. But you, you still need to, to pull him out. Because at the end of the day, Zelina's a, a fucking wrestler herself. So she's got to cut away herself. Right. I put um, Velveteen to go to the main roster, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. You need a mid-car guy. Who's going to be that, that mid car guy? So you in your th- in your draft you would switch Andrade and Velveteen Dream. I put Vel- Velveteen up because Raw's going to need that push with that look. You put Andrade's down, mid card run, great run, especially when it comes to that, that North American champion. And plus, how much heat he could get to show people that he's a fuck the Mexican champ, the Me- North American champ. You can go back does it need a circle. does it does it need and plus? But you can say you the have, same with the U.S. Championship. So the, no, 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 no. Granted, you're right. But right now, the U.S. Championship, unless he's drafted to that brand, he's useless anywhere else on there because yes. you guys are going to sit there and bitch about him for a year. Mm-hmm. Where at NXT, he's going to be used fucking fluently every week, every yeah. week. against uh, um, Raul, Raul um, Mendoza. Mendoza. Mendoza, great fucking uh, faction or tag team you could have there with him. Um, uh, uh, um, great matches that he could have with. Uh, 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 big man, strong man, uh, Keith Lee, and those guys. You yeah. have Adam Cole, Adam Cole, Johnny uh, Gargano uh, again. You, you Chapa. have. I mean, come on. Turn the Lucha part, House Party heel. It's a bad to me. It's a bad look. I, I would want to do it, going. but and it might sound like a reach, but it's a look for him because I think in the future. It's a better look because when the call out comes back, it'll be he it'll will get the Del Rio look. Yes, he will get the fucking um, he will get the 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 the, the ricochet push that's deserved for him. He will get the look to everybody. So you want you believe in the let's let's, let's try another time. Let's try let's try, let's try this again. The the, the, the call up. If he wasn't called up, then I probably would have been like it would have never been what it is. But what right the, now, 
I think he's wasted there where NXT, he'll be a better fucking look and a better fucking uh, 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 voice for, especially the USA Network, um, to get that kind of audience. Yeah. The Cruiserweight look as well. Right. You know how many great matches you could have with the Cruiserweights as well? I don't want to sound... I don't want um, to stay, stick him to the Cruiserweights. I know, but I don't, still. Yeah. I don't want to say He could call out. He could be like, oh, yeah, pinche guapo. Let me see all of you little motherfucker. Well, you know what I'm I saying? Want... <laughs> but come up and wrestle me. And what great matches he could have with these guys. I don't, like a right, Gulaks right. with uh, Tony Nieces. These guys. Hold I, on, I don't want to say... I, I just want to counterpoint that. Cause sure, sure, sure. 205, he, it could, the ring work is not the problem. It, the problem would be He'd be in an arena where half the people are leaving. If he was I mean, on no, 205. No, I didn't say 205. I just said NXT. But I'm saying if that but was I the say thing. in case, because yeah. 205 is also going to be on NXT when they have uh, yeah. the, when they go two hours. So you have it. Uh, a, you're pissing off a big uh, titted blonde. Oh, and I'm, gra- I'm glad that I am. <laughs> are we forgetting that 205 Live is going to stay a show? Which I hate, by the way. Yeah, NXT. but they're also going to be on NXT They're probably well. going to have one match, one cruiserweight match on NXT. That's okay. To be I honest. think 205 should be filmed before so, SmackDown, but that's a different So, story. I agree with that. Red, what are your thoughts on... This is not stupid. You're probably going to make fun of me for this By one. By the way, I have one more pick. You're all probably going to violate yeah. me real quick. Yeah. Okay. What are your thoughts on maybe... Well, listen to what stuff. if Andrade stayed on the main roster, mm-hmm. uh-huh. but the Lucha House Party turned heel? With like, with like La Parca math. They, like, You're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm Andrade going to goof on you. Evil I'm little going. And, yeah. and make it, they make it the Spanish That just sounds Imperial. cool. Said I, no I one can't. ever. But make, <laughs> I, can't, I can't even give you that, that one. But ma- 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 yo, make them the what Spanish What was that one Imperium. guy that used to say Ray Mysterio should be the Lucha House Party? <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> that's okay. how I met y'all too. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> bad. No, but like, no, no, but no, like the Lucha Dragons. Make them his goons and then have fucking Zelina Vega there change the whole look of them. Don't make them mooks. I would like it if I tried to To not play super fantasy here. Okay, because that's what it looks like. Here's, right, sounds racist I, I too. Wanna, but I want to ask you: so you don't see Andrade as a main event star? Not now, not now. With the current state of the roster, not now. Okay. I don't see it now. Okay. I really don't. I love him. I, I really think that the man is. I think it's this is a guy that should have been fucking brought up before Sin Cara, Sin Cara when years ago he was on the the Perithio oh, yeah. for WWE. Oh, he yeah. should have been brought up. Yeah. But they brought in Sin Cara because uh, Triple H thought uh, he was going to be the better look. And the they new, don't understand. The new Mysterio. No, but they don't understand that the Mexican style is different than fucking the American style. They yeah. work on the right side and the left. Yeah. Yes. In case you guys don't fucking know. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> the Mexican he, style he of wrestling works on the right and side and the left. Mm-hmm. Um, but he knew, he knew it early on. Right. It, he was rare, just like um, uh, Alberto Del Rio. They knew it early on. Mm-hmm. Uh, but right now. I think he's more feasible to work at NXT. I mean, listen, I, 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 that's just me. No, I just wanted to hear what yeah, you yeah, said. Yeah. That's it. That's just me. But then now give us a drum roll for whole milk. Uh, whole milk. 100% oh, whole I, milk. Yo, you didn't give me a Red grade. Top. You didn't give me a grade. No, I'll give you. I'm giving after you your explanation, I'll give you the thumbs up. Thank you. I'll you're give getting, you the you're thumbs getting up. a thumbs medium for me. Okay, that's fine. Thumbs medium. Thumbs up. Oh, thumbs meh. Thumbs meh. <laughs> thumbs thumbs meh. <laughs> Ready for whole milk, his last pick. Cedric Alexander. <laughs> Cedric Alexander. Hold on, he didn't pay his bill. Ruby Riot. Okay. I'm going with the safe. Pick. Okay. Say it's safe. Um. Okay. Explain. I forgot she was still around, but okay. She's hurt right now. I know she's hurt, and no, no, what you were no. saying earlier okay. that she might not even be back soon. But right. that's I one think, of those things where you're like, I think with her going back to NXT, it's kind of like the thing with Andrade is that she really hasn't got a fair shake as a, a singles competitor. Like, she had a small run in NXT before, but then got called up right away with Liv and Sarah, became the Riot Squad. And then they really didn't know what to do with her. Right. And now I think with NXT going... I think her going back to NXT, she could develop her character much better and maybe become, like, an evil uh, heel or, or like, an underdog babyface that she could possibly be. At the risk of sounding like a real dickhead, okay. she does nothing for me. Okay. Really? I think, that's fair. I think, that's fair. I think, honestly, Ruby Riot for me is a jobber, plain and simple. Wow. 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 And not to say that demeaningly, because no, yeah. just her, the, just since the, the beginning of wrestling, there's no sex of all in it. There's no sex of all in it. It's just what it is. No, since yeah. the beginning of wrestling, we've had jobbers, and that's okay. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? She's like an enhancer. And I think, yeah, I think she can really teach a lot of the younger talent or whatever, but more than that, I don't think she... But really... I think with a move to NXT could kind of shed that away, like, make people stop thinking like that because she can if she puts in the work and shows that she could be like a top uh, women's wrestler on NXT then eventually she could go back up they, to the I, main roster I think they gave her a raw deal in um 
the main with roster? The, with the, in the main roster with the whole Riot squash. Because what, what they did with her on Raw, they fed her and the other two to Ronda Rousey. Right. But first of all... Um, and then they name? also fed it to Charlotte, too. So she really just been used poorly. What's you know? her name? Um, Sarah, Sarah... Logan. 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 She's poor, trash. I don't give a fuck. Poor, poorly or, as I said, as a jobber, as uh, what her job is. I say, I say poorly because I kind of see something in her, but... No, no, yeah, no. I, I, just, I just, no, I understand. With with the current state of the women's division, I I would honestly, I, like she she's not high on the rankings. No, I I, I think they, they I think they gave her the the, the raw deal. I think she she's yeah. mid card. If they had a mid card kind for her, uh, it works. But um, they gave her the raw deal with the whole riot squad shit because yeah. you had Liv, who nobody really knew the fuck. Liv doesn't really, know how to wrestle. Well, she's gotten better supposedly. I, I mean, I've seen. I, I, to me, she's gotten better. Yeah. Okay. Um, Sarah Logan, we all can agree. Sarah Logan is like, to, she's oh, on main event every fuck? week. Um, I'm going to give you a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no uh, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. Because I have so much faith in Ruby Riot, right. I'm giving you a thumbs down. Okay. For the pure fact of one thing. Ruby comes back by herself. She's, okay. she's money. She's hurt. I understand that. But they put her against Ronda Rousey. And Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. Like, they put her against great talent. And to be honest, I think she held her own. Yeah. Her yeah. character, they could give her the... Just that they gave her two women that aren't on the same level yeah. as her. Bro, they give her the... They get, this they, is Sarah Logan. We're talking fair. about who is if crazy her, Mary I Thompson. I see what you're saying, though. You kind of put this girl on these two other girls to kind of lift them yeah. up. And it did the adverse. Where what can one like woman do? her down. When you yeah. have a six-woman tag and, okay. you have, and you can't be in the match the whole time, there's I'll a problem. I'll give you the thumbs mail on that one. Thumbs, thumbs up. No, th- thumbs down. Just because I have so much faith in Ruby when she comes back, that she'll be the gr- she'll be an amazing filler for mid card on Raw or SmackDown. And also, mind you, I didn't want to be a dick and be like, "Oh, Sarah, Liv, Lacey Evans, and Dana Brooke should go down." Because honestly, we may not like them as uh, as um, on okay, Stone talent, Cold. But you gotta do the one hand, bro. You also have to think about it's like Shit. who can help NXT and who can help the up and comers develop. Ruby yeah, Riot would be a fair. perfect pick. You know what I would do? I would switch Ruby with um, Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke needs a new shake in NXT. See, that's I why like I said that. I don't want to be a dick and say because nah, like, Dana Brooke is not good. But it's like, like Dana Brooke back in NXT. Right? She's what not bad, and she's huh? not a lot better. Dana Brooke back in NXT. Yeah, Dana she's Brooke now is better. Has, yeah, that would that would have that would have probably been my 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 Dana my Brooke next is the queen yeah, of main event. Yeah, Dana Brooke is the queen of main event. Well, Apollo Crews was on your three, but so you you still have one more, no? No, now we have the we choose. No, oh, he has one more. more. Yeah, oh, it is sorry, one more. Sorry, 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 sorry. It is one more. It is one more. Um, Andrade, oh, God, who's now? Um, <laughs> no, is this I, controversial as well? I, no, 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 it's not. It's going to be exactly what he said. It's, it's, it's Apollo Crews. It's got to be. He's got to go back. <laughs> oh, oh, we're just going straight there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's already been called. Like, okay. I'm not going to do theme music. We, we know that he got called <laughs> way too early, and they put him in a situation that's really bad. And I think that he's such a powerhouse that he deserves a real good NXT push. He's athletic. Out there. He's good. It's not like he doesn't have a good look. It's not like no. the, the, it's just it's the charisma. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Definitely. Apollo yeah, Cruz versus Cameron Grimes, like a nice mid card feud. Yeah, Apollo versus him against Jordan Miles. Cameron Grimes. No, but oh, he's no, not no, bad seriously. though, his man. His finisher is no, come fire. On, his, his, it, it, it's like fucking. Uh, what you say? Hold on. His finisher is fire, yo. Finisher, okay. What? what about everything in between, bro? No, nah, he's not. Nah, he's D. He's, he's right. okay, hey, but I don't think he's like. No, I think he's actually really good, man. Hold on, serious like... question: Does Apollo Cruz need a heel turn? Like no. a changing no, character? No, no, a, no, a changing no, 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 character? No, no, no. He just—he's another one that just doesn't need yeah. to fucking talk. Him turning heel would be like a Barbie doll turning bad. He'd be, a good baby like, face. He'd be like it. a good like chasing baby. Like you yeah, know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like get him a good heel and put him with a good heel, and he'd be perfect for that. And they had it. They had it in um with, with, with Tyler Breeze when he was doing it in NXT. It was a good fucking yeah. run. Yeah. And um, now he's back with uh, Fandango, which is NXT. that's a good look for them there yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Um, they, I, I, I think Apollo is the same type of guy. If you told him we, he's going to NXT, he wouldn't we get, mind it. Do we get the honorable mentions before anything? Yeah. Uh, Cesaro, I mentioned earlier, is an honorable mention. Um, you know? for me, although who'd you say? Cesaro? I said Cesaro, Cesaro okay. but if I was to say somebody else. No, you get one. Go ahead. <laughs> no, my, my my no my honor mention is is for call up. That's what it is. Can I get oh, that? Yeah, 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 my, yeah, yeah. My honor mention is for call up because I don't I, right now. I think the um the roster is fine after yeah. all that shit. I said, but as for call up, my honor mention and I didn't I didn't think about it because uh I think this rest is a perfect fit right now. And when it does, the call up does happen. I hope they promote it. 
fucking big time and it's well deserved, Uh-oh. and that this fucking guy is killing it, and you already know who's my who's my boo. Pete Dunn. That's right. Oh yeah. Fucking oh. done. Oh god. Yeah. Fucking done. <laughs> fucking and done. I gotta give. I gotta Which give. show? And I gotta. Uh, for what show? Smackdown. Ooh, Smackdown. Who, who, it's who, not, it's who, not gonna. Who as much as I, as much as I want Eric him Bischoff on SmackDown, Paul he's gonna be on. He's Raw. gonna be on Raw. It's much. Make him a new Paul Heyman guy. Give him that. They want the real fight. He doesn't need it, though. He could cut a promo. That, they want the real fight that bitch could cut a fucking promo. But <laughs> they want the real fight feel on SmackDown. Yeah, right? I know, I know. But I think that I, I think it's a the good bruiser, balance. The bruiser way? I think it's a good balance to have him there because nobody's going to really believe him on yeah. SmackDown. So I think it's a good balance. And by the way, I got to give a shout-out to fucking uh, that punk Isaac because two motherfuckers on this list he he put me on to was Pete Dunne and fucking um, Tommy N and fucking uh, yeah. And, and Alistair Black. There you uh, go. And I got to tell you, honestly... When that kid hits the fucking main roster, it's gonna be big. It better be big. Not that it's gonna be big. It better be big. Because with Pete Dunne, I think we all agree. There's so much, it has to be an invasion there's, kind there's of look. So much, it has to be. But there's so much worry and oh god, I think how old is he? What twenty four? Yeah, but Not, still yeah. young. Yeah, but if you're thinking like in Vince's mind, like. If he doesn't get Vince it, doesn't even know if, who if, he is. If, if Vince, Vince, if Vince does doesn't not know who, who he is, yeah, Vince then he's know who he is. Vince does not know who he is. Pete, who? I don't know why. You know why? You know why? Why? Because Triple H loves Pete Dunne. Yeah, but you can Vince, tell. Triple H, you can oh, tell. Vince, Triple H them. loves him. Triple H is putting so much money into fucking Pete Dunne, and you can already tell. But he that knows he is. already. He knows already that that Vince is like, I don't get it. Like yeah. he knows already. Yeah. But. Well, which is whole, fine. He's British, you know. He, he's which got that is accent. Fine. He can't connect or something. But, which is fine. But at the end of the day, we know who he is, and we know what what is going to be. Right. Um. Now Taz. we have Taz. Wait, the, the, okay. The fa- <laughs> <laughs> Taz. Exactly. I know what he's going to be. Yeah. Exactly. Taz. You remember when Go Taz ahead. came up? He was like, "Oh shit, you fucked him up, bro." Uh-huh. Uh. What do we have? Um. Fantasy. The the fantasy call ups to NXT. Indie indie guys that we want to see in NXT. We have one pick uh, oh, that was the yeah. One, that was the yeah. wild card we were throwing to yeah, everybody. Sorry, by the way. Guys. Please explain it. But, all right. So any indie guys that we that we know, and it's not to go to all elite because we're not doing all elite. No Marco stunt. Orange Cassidy. Isaac's about to fucking snuff you, son. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's your boy. No, because it, it, all elite is fucking raping the industry anyway. But, yeah, yeah. But we're, we're talking, talking about, about like. Indie. For NXT, we're talking about NXT indie guys that should get the look. Like you see these guys at Elks. Because to me, anybody, because anybody, anybody in indies right now could get signed for fucking all elite. I swear yeah. to you. I, I, Can we pick anybody from Ring of Honor Impact? No. Nope. Um, you know what? Can nah. we? Can we lie that? Can we? I would we're... say Ring of Honor, not Impact. Though Impact doesn't count. Because it's I'd say, I'd okay, say Ring okay, of so, Honor. Okay, so if we pick... I'll give you, I'll give you two. I'll say Ring of Honor and MLW because MLW is not signed. Okay, okay, I'll give you that. Yeah, if, I'll if give you we were to include yeah. Impact, I'm gonna say no. I would take Tessa Blanchard. Killer Cross. That's a good I one. I just said no, no Impact. No, I'm saying if we if he wanted to, oh, but is is, is no. Cross still there? No, hmm. no, no, he's no, not. Te- no, he's still under a contract. Is he? Yeah. I thought he was out of that. That's why everybody's saying free Killer Cross. He's holding his contract. Okay. Uh, and I hear but, him in a wrestler. I hear him independent. He can't be again, decided. Like, like because said, because, not, because I would have said Brian Cage. Cage. I would have said Brian that's Cage. A, easily. Yeah. Those are perfect picks. Yeah. No Ring of Honor term. no Impact. What do you mean no Ring of Honor? You just said Ring of Honor. We're talking about independent wrestlers. Indy to NXT. There's nobody on the no, independent. You know why? There is. There is. Yes, there is. I have a name right now. Yeah, yeah. I have a few names. Ring of Honor should not count. Now I have to change my shit. Because Ring of Honor cannot. I was trying to make that argument. Ring of Honor can't. Honestly, if we include Ring of Honor, who are we going to pick? Marty. You know what? I, yeah. Marty is but a we guy can't they because all he's, pick. He's, 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 but he's new Japan, pick. though. How about the fucking bullies, though? With the who? What? The bullies. The bullies? The boys. Oh, the... Dalton Castle. Oh, Dalton Castle's boys. That's who I was going to pick, Dalton Castle. That's exactly who I was going to pick. But you know how right. fucking awesome it would, it would be it's to see happen. Dalton Castle come out like the NBC Peacock? Versus right. Velveteen Dream? <laughs> the NBC Peacock. Another one Nobody else called that but, Nobody else called that but me. Another one from Ring I think Flip. Flip Gordon? Yeah. Yeah. Independent um, wrestler, though. Okay. Independent, Independent, not signed, still in the streets. So does MLW count? Okay. Though, or are we still, MLW still, MLW still in the streets. Okay. Getting that grind on. That's what we're talking about. Okay. Uh, I got you. You have a name, Red? Uh, yeah. I have a name, too. Automatically off the top. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Go I'll go last because I, I got names. I'll go third. I, I already know where you're looking at. Mm-hmm. I know who Do you, you really? I do. I, I, I have two people who I think you know. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to go with the other person. I think you're going to go with who I think. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm going to go with. Chris Dickinson. You fucker. I love me some Chris. Chris Dickinson. He's got he's got the look. That was my pick. That's that's actually that's actually a really good look. Chris. He's got the he's got the physique. How old is Chris? 
He's young. Mid thirties. That's not young. That is not young. That's not young. For wrestling, that's not young. <laughs> but he still looks good, though. Chris Dickinson. But he hasn't been wrestling that long, has he? No. He's no. Been... no, so he's fine. Uh, but no, still, they don't care about how long you've been wrestling. They look about your age, No, they man. do care about how long you've that's been wrestling. Right, because yeah. if you've been wrestling in the indies for, if you're 33, let's say, you've been wrestling in the indies for, let's say, 15 years, they, they look at that as opposed to somebody yeah. else being 33 and only wrestling in the indies for five years. No, but that's what I'm Two saying. He's been wrestling for how many years, you he's think? Like He's been wrestling for like at six, least five six, years. If he's, if he's thirty, if he's thirty, then that's a good look for him, and that's definitely a NXT look. He's got the physique, he has a he has a he has a following, and I think that um I don't know about his promo work though, but but he's good. He's all right. He's not bad. I think we good. Um, Can we get him? Fuck out of here. You keep fucking playing with me. Yeah. Stop playing. I think I think yeah. I think Chris Dickinson would be great in NXT. We keep seeing him at the he's actually wrestled under NXT in the fucking WrestleMania access matches. And plus is it what did he do evolve? Did he do evolve? Yeah. That that contract ended like around WrestleMania. Right? It was a, yeah. it's, it's a good look. It's that a good dude look. Has and, he has, and he has a lot of following. That's a big pick right there. Yeah, Chris Dickinson. That's a big pick. Yep. Uh, he's a good fan, so. uh who else is next? You want me to go next? Yeah, right, go next. They're, they're, they're still searching, so Yeah, I'm still okay. looking here. I gotta tell you guys right now. I know where you're going with this. Do you? Yes, I do. If you know what it... No, no, no. I'll do it. Let me see. Who's at the same time? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> come on. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah. Indie Three. wrestling, yeah. NXT. Let's get a grab. Let's give this guy a fucking look. Fucking amazing red, boy. Oh. Come on. Let's get it. No, he's not. It's not signed. He's just there. It's, he's going to. He's still indie. And you know what? You got to give this guy a fucking look and expect... Hey, yo, this is a guy who reinvented himself and came back after yeah. all this shit. Is, and he looks amazing. After that match with no Osprey and, uh, and himself, everybody was blowing his dick saying like, yo, that match was the greatest ever. And it's like, no, nah, it was really good. But you know what? He held his own for his age with a guy like Osprey. It's fucking awesome, yo, man. And in the NXT, it fits him perfectly. He's a put over guy, and there's also a guy that actually looks like that he could take matches and put it to the uh, uh, the upper echelon. As Meltzer will go, oh, four or five star red. Fuck you. Red is fucking automatic. <laughs> yes, he man. is automatic. Automatic. And this dude, if it's not for injuries, he would fucking have already been signed anywhere else. Yep. So yeah. I gotta say, for our guy, H O G, H O G guy, and not only that. The guy's fucking, he's still awesome. He's Amazing Red. Who the fuck? He's, he's an innovator awesome. of... Uh, I gotta say, Amazing yeah. Red to NXT. He's easy, easily, easily. Easy pick. Easy next pick. up, who wants to go next? Hold on, you got? Oh, God. Ugh. Let's see. It's so hard to think because everybody's practicing. I try to think, but nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> My brain don't work. <laughs> it's like the Three Stooges. Would you I give... I try to think for nothing. You, would you... Wait, can we do MLW, guys? Yeah, no, it counts. Uh, yeah, you? because it's, it's still a flexible, co- and I could have went in that well for that too. But uh, that's okay. You, you, you can do it. You can go. go. No, I'm not. Uh, go. You got. You got something. If we're including MLW, do you watch MLW? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, it's a good show, man. Brian Pillman Jr. Ooh, oh, that's a good one. That's a, that's interesting. And you you got to sell me on this one. Why? <laughs> no, seriously, you got to sell me. Uh I think the upside of him is. Definitely high. I think the name would definitely help bring in definitely fans. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think him under a WWE banner would definitely. I think Vince kind of wants that because the name's there. And plus, a name that you know people it's know. Na- it's, it's a name that isn't too controversial, and right. he, he, for all accounts, he, his father was like a blessing in disguise. Right. And I think Brian. I just like I just like the idea of bringing Brian Pillman Jr. into WWE. I, 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 I gotta it, say, whether it's NXT, because I think with him developing a promo style, maybe he could be like a, a new incarnation of his father. I think we're saying, good, hey, eh? you, you're not gonna give my boy Teddy Hart a look, eh? You know, <laughs> oh, Teddy Hart, he, he's burned too many bridges. You think so? I think. You think yeah. he's burnt out? I think there's yeah. one more chance. Yeah. I think. I, don't know. I would definitely maybe David Hart Smith. D.H. Smith. Maybe. Oh, Again? He's loving the Indies, I don't know. though. I don't know. He's, He's loving the New Heart Foundation stable. Yeah. 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 That's also, that's also stupid. Rondo. So, yeah, can we get... Can we get... M- 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 w, 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 yeah. He just yeah, you yeah. can reach it. Von Erichs. Bo- oh. All what? of them? That early? They're green. Yeah, that's too soon. They're green. No, it's NXT. You think so? It's NXT. 
Everybody says too soon. It's NXT. You know, it's going to be six months in the year before they get onto onto TV. I think even more than that. Uh, no, I, 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 no, I, 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 no. Yeah, I can, I, 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 I can see yeah. that. And on top of that, they're really trying to get uh, Papa Von Eric into NXT too. Papa Von Eric. <laughs> I yo, you know what's crazy is that I I thought you was going to go the other way. Junior Fatu. Yeah. yeah, that was my that was my first. That's who I thought you. Jacob Fatu was my honorable mention. Yeah. That dude that is, is my honorable mention. Yeah. Also, another guy you like, Alexander Alexander Hamilton. Yeah. Ah, but as as um, and another could thing, be Umaga and two point oh, and as, as another thing that um, um Isaac Tom says, Waller. Isaac says it's like um, he reminds you of 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 um Shane Douglas, Shane Douglas. Douglas. yeah, like yeah, it is, yeah, it, it, it fits perfectly too. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Holiday fucking pisses me off, but because I, I still don't get him. But <laughs> no, definitely, I thought you was gonna go Fatu, and I would have thought that um, maybe a Hammerstone or something like that. We can't say Loki because Loki then definitely burn bridges with oh, yeah. everybody. Oh, Cabal! <laughs> that fucker burns burns bridges. Burn, burn, burn. I hate oh. everyone. And my honorable <laughs> mention, my, on- my honorable That's mention, your impression of him? my I honorable hate mention everyone. will be an old school guy too, because my whole thing will be because I want him to. Transition to another fucking performance, fucking center kind of guy. Colby Carino. Homicide, oh. man. Oh. Oh. Homicide. I gotta do it for my guy. That's true. A That's little, true. you know, a little something. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a good, he's a, he's a good egg. You gotta put him over. Him and Hernandez. Can I say mine? My honorable mention. Sure. This is what I think. This man has the potential to be WWE main roster man. You're, you're so gay. Oh. This guy could be WWE Universal Champion by two years. Are you saying a guy gave you goosebumps? Yeah. And any guy yes. for real, this guy's about you. You gonna do some clown shit? If you are gonna do some clown shit, don't do it. Oh Both come me. on! Well, no, I'm serious. I think He's gonna Grim Reefer. All right, this one, this one we end the show. All right, guys, Reefer. listen. Thanks for thanks for being a part of this. Scarlet Bordeaux. And this one, you. She's already love. she's already in the fucking uh, performance. Grim Reefer will bring marijuana back to the main All roster. All right, guys, son. listen. Thanks for being a part of this episode. We gotta roll out, guys. Um, um. <laughs> oh, let everybody know they can get um where you where you at and where you where, where General Mission can get at. Oh, uh, you can find GAWP at the GAWP Show on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, Rondo, you can find me on Facebook at John Rondo and Instagram at John underscore MF underscore Rondo. You know what? You can't say shit because with that fucking last, <laughs> I don't let you fuck you. I was and obviously always, guys, fucking around. We out of here, guys. Can we make this a two parter of, of of cutting a promo? How are you talking about? It's three hours, bro. What so the fuck is... one, well, we were supposed to go thirty also, minutes. Also, we don't have to do um, so we don't have to. Be... This is your. It's weekend. a busy week. <laughs> this is your, this is this is your podcast. This is your episode for the week. Two exactly. weeks. Part one, part two. We have a busy week I'm, coming. I'm, I'm going to be chopping it up because this has bring, to be a 30. Bring uh, back Urban Wrestling Federation. <laughs> yo, that shit was dope, yo. Yo, I had a vision, yo. So All right, guys. Six, listen, we out of here. Parts. Thanks for watching. For anybody who hung up for this long, Fuck God you. bless you. That means you don't have a life. I'm talking to you guys <laughs> later, yo. Thank you for having me. Wait, what did he say? He said, if you've been on this long, you don't have a life. That was fucking amazing. Three. Awesome fucking show, bro. Awesome.